Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Hey, stress. Welcome in. Welcome in with the 20 stream streak. Holy smokes. Welcome. Welcome back. And uh, Death Star, welcome in as well. Um, Walk91, welcome, welcome in as well. Good to see you guys all here. Welcome in. We are going to be hopefully building today. We'll see how that goes. Um, I've got a lot kind of planned out because this right here is a train station, right? And I was looking at some inspiration for train stations um, and trying to come up with some ideas for how we could make this work and look. And I'm still just as clueless as when I started searching. <laughs> I'm still just as, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm still just as like lost um, as you might be. Um, but yes, anyways, welcome, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. Um, so I, I don't know. We're going to experiment a little bit today with some different uh, building styles, some different pallets um and things like that and we'll see we'll see how that goes so anyways good morning um and welcome in to the live stream like i said uh okay so first things first on the docket let's go ahead and get some more chill stuff going on here all right let's see also um yeah lag in this area is awful and thankfully this area is not an area we have to stay in really um, and I do plan on eventually moving my hub, my portal hub here to somewhere else. Um, that's going to be eventually the goal. I mean, we'll still want a way to get back to our storage base, you know, essentially. But yeah, this area, the FPS is just too low. And um, I did find a document, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and I'm surprised nobody had linked it to me. I don't even know if it existed until just recently. Uh, but... There is a whole document on this pack where people have put together tips and tricks on things that they can do to help improve their experience in this. And I will say, the majority of the things that we have already done was on there. Uh, however, there are a couple of things that I might want to try and get into to sort of divide up the challenge of this pack. Because so far we've been doing tech and all of that craziness. Um... I think today we should just finish up our plastic and get this split off so that way we can have plastic sheets um, mechanisms or whatever being also produced at the same time as this being produced. I think that'd be a good idea to at least have those um, ready to go whenever we start working on other things. But um, with that in mind, we have to also continue progressing into other things like uh, like the spirit mod, right? That we haven't even touched the spirit mod. Um, and the, apparently that's going to offer some great mob spawners, including like wither skeleton skulls, potentially. I don't know. I'll have to see. Welcome in buzz, by the way. Welcome. Um, and then, I mean, maybe even getting into the drink me farms to produce some resources from certain things. And we'll have to see how all of that goes. I wonder how complex the Wixie auto craft can get. I mean, probably pretty complex. It just depends on whatever the highest tier potion is, right? I get, well, Wixies can auto-craft regular things, too, can't they? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Welcome, welcome, any everybody. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody was asking a question. You have butter toast, pear yogurt, entertainment in front of me. I'm ready to start a day. Oh, 14 Katana. just gave out five subs. Katana, thank you for the five give subs. And I, I, I'm glad that I can be a, a, an entertaining part of your day. Good, good morning. This is like the worst place to like have anything happen because of how just laggy it is here. Uh, it's, it's funny. That's what Pepper was saying the other day. The end goal of the pack is going to be if Chosen's PC can handle it or not. Uh, and I will say, yeah, that's that's uh, definitely, definitely going to be a thing that we have to worry about. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Chosen, what's your opinion on garlic bread? I, I think it's, um, it's good with pasta. Oh, I don't know. Is that an opinion? It is an opinion. I mean, I think it's good. When made right. It's like toast with butter and garlic on it. It's good. 
and cheese sometimes. And who doesn't like toast? You know? All right. So I think everything over here is still running. I just want to kind of keep an eye on everything. Yeah, this is all running as it should. Hello from Germany. Welcome. Good to have you here. But yes, we're going to experiment today with block pallets um, and all that fun stuff. But first, we have a couple of things that I want to get done. Like I said, I would technically like to get this at least going. Um, and I need to take a look at this because this is uh, a part of the chapter that we need to do. Um, and it's a part of this chromatic chapter. Now, this shows leading all the way to optional two LPG route. I really don't know what this is meaning. But we produce plenty of LPG with our current setup. And so we just need to take 30 sheets and we need to plastify them. So we need to take molten plastic and put it onto a sturdy sheet and get plastic. And then we need to take the plastic sheets and send the resonant in with molten plastic. Now, this is interesting because we could probably do this. Let me think. We could probably do this a different way than we're currently doing it. We just need to put plastic sheets, I think, on a... <sighs> Let me think about this one a little bit. Because we already technically have, like, the main components for this. And later on, we're going to need to do this, but we'll work on that later on. But um, just thinking about this. So we already have the ability to produce the plastic sheets. We just then need to move them into position so we can do the plastic on them. Okay. Um, and we want to split off our molten plastic between making the sheets and also doing this. So right now, we just have it set up to just make plastic sh sheets from the sturdy, which is not necessarily what I want to do, right? Um, so let's actually take these off for right now. And we need to kind of already get started, chat. Already get started with figuring out and logifying this all today. Oh boy, are you ready for this? I don't know if my brain's ready for this, but I've got this going on right now. So that's all that matters, right? It's going to keep me fueled up. It's going to keep me fueled up. Oh, welcome, welcome, everybody. But yes, okay. So um, now let's go ahead and kick off our plastic. Um, and let's stop our pump right here because right now we are pumping LPG over here. Um, I think this is going to be a, a multi-step process, um, right? This is going to actually, we, we need to reverse this pump. So actually we should do a gear, gear box, gear box, vertical gear box is fine. And let's reverse this pump. Oh, I guess I didn't have to change the speed, did I? God, there's a lot I'm going to have to wrap my brain around back today. After the weekend, like, I just got to get my head in the game, you know? Get my head in the game. Um, I should have a Starbuncle wheel. So let's grab that. Uh, and I don't have a gold block on me. Oh, no. Can you leave this guy in the LPG pool? Can I? <laughs> He's going to be there for Well, I, I'm pretty sure he died. I'm pretty sure that it did. I'm, I'm, he didn't make that. I'm almost positive. Almost positive that he didn't survive that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so chat, how was your weekend? How was your weekend chat? Did you guys have a pretty decent weekend? Did you, did you guys get anything done? This weekend, anything interesting? Go anywhere interesting? Last night, uh, my wife and I played Power World together, and it's actually really fun to play together. Like out of all the multiplayer games that my wife and I have played, so like in the last couple of years, I will say that one was actually pretty fun, right? Because like we were like 
playing together and it wasn't like it was a competition to see who's a better gamer. I like that. It was nice. That's how some other games sort of feel. Like when you play Mario together, like it feels like it's a competition. Who's the better gamer? But with Power World, we're just kind of like playing together, building our base together. Like it feels like Minecraft. You know, because I also love playing Minecraft with my wife. We don't get to do it very often because playing on Xbox and stuff makes it a lot harder with Minecraft. But we're working on a gaming room. Slowly but surely. We got to get one of, we got to get a room cleaned out. Just gave out five subs. And hey, then there might be some streams. My wife's been hinting at that. We got the idea of potentially like we can have nights where we just stream both of us together it'll be it'll be like uh chosen and wifey you know streaming the minecrafts together maybe making videos who knows hawk halo dude thank you by the way for the five gift subs man welcome to the crew back to the crew not not hawk back to the crew welcome those who got gift subs back to the crew hawk's always been in the crew hawk's never left the crew Don't be tripping up. Yeah, my wife really wants to try modded. So she's never got the chance to play modded Minecraft. And so that's going to be really fun. Like, but we got to get this room set up. That's the problem is like, it's, it's really hard to turn a room into a room big enough for a family of five for gaming. I will put this this way. We don't have a house that's that big, right? Our house is big enough for a family of five, but it's not like, it's not like huge, right? And and so there's a room in the basement, doesn't have a window or anything. It does have a closet though. Um, when they were, they were finishing the basement, the, the prior owner, and they kind of just like threw the basement together, but they left that kind of like, it's like an office room. It just doesn't have a window or anything, no regress, nothing like that. It just has a closet. It's an okay size space. Kotona 14 oh, God. just gave out one subs. It's on with, with that gift sub to Empathy Oss. Goodness. Thank you for gifting them. But yeah, it, it's it's just big enough, honestly, um, for me to fit two like 78 inch desks, like two like 80 inch desks, which would be fine for four. Right, because you'll two per desk, two people per desk, and I'm thinking about having them pushed up against the wall. I had the idea for putting it in the center of the room, but the room's not big enough for that after doing all the measurements and everything. So we're gonna have two desks that are gonna be away from each other up against the walls, and then there is room for one more desk when our daughter gets a little bit older. But for now, I'm just gonna probably like throw a beanbag there so she can like play on like a tablet while we're also kind of chilling out all together, and she can like play and just chill out on the beanbag down there with us. Um, and that, that's something that we're looking into. Uh, my kids are getting old enough to where uh, playing on a computer is, you know, something they can possibly do. So, yeah. I think the buying the computer parts is going to be the, uh, the expensive thing. The desks are cheap. The chairs are cheap. <laughs> the painting of the room is pretty cheap. The computer part, I am, I, I think I'm going to take this laptop that I have in here in a box uh, that needs a battery replacement. I'm going to fix the, the laptop that might, that's going to be one of my daughter's computers. And then uh, gaming laptop that I have possibly will go down there as well. Or my wife could just move her, she'll probably end up moving her computer. She has my old computer, which, which has a, um, a 1070 in it. Which isn't bad, and it plays Minecraft and Modern Minecraft just fine. 16 gigs of RAM on that computer. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But if not, she will definitely need an upgrade, potentially. I don't know. There's a lot of logistics stuff that we've got to figure out. Networking. i got to figure out the networking side of things to get a gaming room up and running. And then also make sure that we can all play together. Whew. It's a lot for me to think about, right, chat? So I'm figuring things out one step at a time. I'm taking things one step at a time. Yeah, I know it's going to have to be like local server. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to probably end up needing. I just don't know how that's going to go. I, I got to think about that more once we get the whole room sort of set in place. Unfortunately, this home is old enough 
that nobody thought about putting cabling in the wall for internet. No networking lines are ran through the house. And I don't think really anywhere where I live, I don't think anybody was thinking, oh, let's put network cables through the wall. It, it, I've never, I've not been in a house. We've looked at houses. I've not, I've not seen a house here that was prepped and ready to go with networking through the home. I feel like if a home though is built now, it should totally have networking built in. Wi-Fi works pretty good if it's not brick. It's in the basement and our Wi-Fi is in the main floor. All right. Um, so back to this. Um, so I do need to hook the pump back up and then that should start just pulling the excess from there. But we also have LPG that's going to be flowing into this. Problem is, is we're going to have, uh, we're not voiding LPG because we don't have it running to a tank or anything like that. Um, so that could be a little bit of a problem right now. Uh, I could put a tank here. Uh, the, uh, okay. We just need to get it processing and then we should be good. Um, all right. Well, let's just remove this for now. Let's just toss some things real quick. This needs to go. You need to go. Um, don't need this. Um, okay. And then we just need to get the, uh, plastic automated. So first thing is we... Let me think about this. Oh, I stopped this belt line, didn't I? That is fine. We don't need this right now. I'll set this up later. Okay. This could honestly be done with a gearbox right here. Or something. All right. So how am I going to do this? Uh, this needs to be turned into plastic. We are going to have to automate charcoal, which I was intending to do last episode. Did not get the chance. And I don't think we can burn tar. We have to have charcoal or coal inside of this inventory. That's going to be fun. Anyways. Thank you guys, by the way, for the hype train uh, and the hype right there at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thank you for that. Uh, I am thankful my 1930s basement wasn't fully finished. Running uh, networking drops has been a, a breeze. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe it. Not for me. I don't know how people just run stuff through walls. I don't, I don't know how that happens. Chosen, I love you. We'll welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, okay. Trying to think. It's a lot to think about here. All right. So bear with me. That doesn't need to go in there. Bear, bear with me on this. Probably even lower the music for a moment. So my brain can, can just comprehend what we're about to do. So plastic mechanisms. First of all, we need to split our radiant mechanisms from our belt line here. And we need to split that over to this. So that's like one of the first things we need to do. Oh my god. Bushy! Hello, hello. Hey. This isn't helping any. I understand. Oh my god. It's not, it's not helping. <laughs> Clark with the flip screen. That doesn't help either. Thank you, by the way, for the six months. So, um, this. Oh god. Okay, so uh, we need to make sure we have room to get the, not the time mechanisms. That's something different. Something to get the radiant mechanisms over to this. So radiant mechanisms go over, and that means plastic sheets need to be uh, the first thing on the press line. Now, plastic sheets, um, how are we going to manage that? So, uh... To make the plastic sheets, we need to get reinforced. So we're going to have to have our train, possibly the train that is carrying our lava, also grab the sheets for us and deposit them here. I think that might be a good idea um, to do. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay. So we need the plastic sheet production. Hmm. We could possibly go vertical with this. We could go vertical with this.
So we just simply need the sturdy sheet to be done this way. And man, I just feel like I don't have enough room over here. Let me just take a look again. Refresh my brain. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so let's just think about that as if it is a belt line that is running one, two, three. These are our three operations that are going to take place, right? First things first, the first operation is the deployer. Um, and so that's where we need to send the plastic, the process plastic right here. Um, then we're going to need... If I was looking correctly, I keep opening this up, but it's right here. Uh, we're going to need the spout and then we're going to need the press. Okay. So a spout... And then we're going to need a press. Okay. So that is the process um, of making that material. Now, how do I get um, the fluid from here to here? Um, I could put this somewhere else and we could have a line that runs here and then has another belt that feeds um, up maybe. Um, into this. I'm not quite sure how I want to go about this. I could just use a pipe that pumps the fluids into these things. Um, because that's probably doable. And we could have them in a line. This could just be higher up. Right? So we could run a belt along the back that does the processing of the plastic. And then underneath we'll end up figuring out the other stuff. Craig, welcome in. Um, see, by the way, I love time in a bottle. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's good. I don't even know where, how much. We have 71 hours in this. That is crazy to think about. Um, <laughs> considering how long it just took to get the time in the bottle. You can speed up the crushing wheels by clicking on the in-between spots between the two wheels. Real? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. I, before I had automation for the time of the bottle, I was able to make it, yeah. Yeah, no, you, I made it this way with just things I collected. You can find all of these ingredients um, inside of things um, in the source fragments. Yeah, we, we had those automated. Apparently, you can speed up the wheels by using the time in the bottle on this section i you know what i feel like this is a troll okay because here's the thing here's the thing before i even do it because i know it's a troll it, it, that's got to be a troll if you click this onto a belt inside the crushing wheel here it will place the time in the bottle on the belt and the crushing wheel destroys things that go through it that can't be crushed. I'm not... Not the belt. There is a spot between... I'm not even going to risk that. That sounds like an easy way to go whoopsie doops. Maybe once we have them automated, yeah. <laughs> I'm not losing 71 hours in my bottle. I believe it though. I, I, I don't doubt it. I'm sure this like spot right here, because I'm pretty sure you can place items in between that spot. Like it's a physical spot right there. I'm leaving that now. It's staying there. I chosen. J Banger, welcome in. Welcome in, J Banger. Good to see you. Thank you for that six mighty months, by the way. Oh, goodness. Okay. Back to figuring this out. So we have our belt that's going to roll this way. Oh, by the way, chat, I did go through and I edited the first two stream VODs of this series and made it much more palatable. Um, So the, the majority of them wasn't, um, le at least for a viewer on YouTube, uh, I made it more palatable because I removed like the huge sections of like me just fighting mobs, uh, me fighting player mobs. 
So that uh, that was made a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, goodness. Here's sixteen. We need these to be evened. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes. I got the videos edited up uh, on YouTube. It wasn't easy to edit on the YouTube thing. I will say that it was very janky editing on it. But I was able to get it done. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to pump the stuff. Should just not be afraid of using pumps and just do that. So that means I probably want to have a belt line that runs here in some capacity like that. Um, that will send the item from here to here and then that will go into this spout that'll be on this belt line. So we'll have our spouts like this. And then we'll have a pump. That's like on the top here. That's going to pump the plastic, the molten plastic. Into. Both of these containers. Like that. What do you think? What do you think chat? What do you think about that? I think that could work. I think that could work. Also, I bet I have stopped my production of everything because, yeah, the LPG is building up. Okay, we need to get some coal real quick. And we just need to get that processing. Feels bad, man. What do you, what do you mean, feels bad, man? What's going on? Don't know if you want to speed up the mechanical press because it goes super fast and does nothing. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, he's responding to the star. He's using the wrong keyboard. Okay. Um. For now, I'll just use some coal. Um and make what we can make from it. But we are going to need to get charcoal sent over here. So we're going to we're going to need char believe it or not, this is actually quite a lot. I know I'm doing. I want to build today. I do. But we have to get still a lot of stuff over here. This doesn't require pressure, right? I don't think. It just requires a catalyst being coal and or charcoal, which we'll, we'll be giving charcoal to this. That's going to build up. Um, okay, and so that's more than fine. That goes here. That's going to fill this up. So now we just got to figure out how to get uh, the material into this. And I could probably just use a fan and we could use a funnel. To, can we, I, th I think the funnel funnels into things, right? It can, it can funnel into things. I hope, I hope it can because that's what we're going to have to kind of do is funnel into the bottom of this from a tree farm. But we're also going to need to get the plastic up to this to send over to here because um, this is how we're going to automate this. We've got to get the plastic sheets will be made and they will go into this and then our radiant will end up traveling here off of this and then this will be set to round robin right and so what should happen is these when they're produced will end up going in here some will get split into this and some will get split into what will eventually be the plastic mechanism so whoo
Holy smokes. I got a I got an issue, chat. Give me just a moment. I was like, what the heck? Hold on, be right back, chat. Hey! G and everyone. <laughs> Clan Lex, Cl wow, did I say that right? Clan Linux, Clan Clan Linux. Cl I still can't even say it. My tongue won't let me. Good night, everyone. Have a good one. Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it has a penis now. Yep, exactly what that is. It's all shaft. What spell or enchantments on my sword? Uh, so we have touch, freeze, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify two. It's a powerful sword and it's a powerful combo. Do you have the one mod? I do have the one that checks for not frame lag, but F. So now the train should stop if there's a train in the middle, the green area. Speaking of trains crashing. It went that way, so I'm thinking. Dr driver has gone missing. No! God. It's about half half the amount of people that's even in here just chilling. See, th the hype trains must do. S oh my god, so much going on. The hype trains must like promote the yet. stream or something. I notice when they're going on that the viewers increase while the trains are going on. It's weird. The old PCI check the chat message type. Um, it checks the, the, the ID for the redemption. It's not hard to, to do it that way, so I kind of like using it. I know you can just use the name of the thing, but I changed the names of them. So it's kind of actually nice in this using it this way. Some clips are very random, yes. The thing is, those are the most viewed clips. It saves a lot more space because we're utilizing it a little bit better. I think I found some Stella, right? Is this my silk touch? This is Jerry, yep. Silk touch away so it doesn't blow up on us. That is three Stella, right? Okay. This does look complicated in the quest. It does. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not touting right, that chat. it's not complicated. Jim. Not. Sorry about that. That was really weird. I've never had anything like that happen before. Weird. I must have like uh, cut my arm on my door or something. And I looked down and I was like, why does my armchair feel weird? And like, rub my arm. I'm... <laughs> blood everywhere that was scary i didn't even know i was cut apparently um and it wouldn't stop bleeding which is not normal for me so anyways 
Yeah, <laughs> Joseph just randomly bleeding less. Yeah, there's like a, a freaking puddle of blood down here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was a uh, that was weird. Um. <laughs> anyways, back to this. I got I got it fixed though. I got I'm all patched up. So I I don't know. I don't know what the heck that was. I I had to actually get a big old bandage for it because Jesus Christ. All right. Um, back to this. <laughs> you can do evil craft at home now. I know I'm doing blood magic apparently. I've done too much blood magic recently, and so it's led me to this, apparently. <laughs> Chosen just randomly bleeding the last two weeks. Yeah, no. I don't know what the heck that was. That was weird. Like, that was a lot. It looked like. Like, that's something that I would. Like, I, even if I cut my finger on it with a kitchen knife, it wouldn't bleed that much. That's why I was so concerned all of a sudden. I was like, I'm just bleeding. I don't even know it. That's freaking weird. All right, back back to this. Back to the create. I don't know if I should be concerned. I really don't know, honestly. But anyways, sorry for that, that intermission. Um, We were working on this, right? And we're just kind of just getting it done, right? We just need to get it done. Uh, nothing to it but to do it, right, chat? All right, so... Uh, to get this spinning in the right direction, we really don't have to do much because we already have everything needed in order to do it. That's going to be perfect. This is spinning this way, so I'm wondering if I put this here, that is spinning the right way. Oh, you got to love when things just work. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this chat. Oh, it's going to be perfect. It's going to go right up here. Boom. And then boom. Oh, it's just perfect. Look at this. And then we put this here, and then that's going to be spinning the appropriate direction. Oh, it's like a CSI murder scene. I know it scared the crap out of me, Chan. And you know, it's really weird when you could smell it. Like I, I, I could smell the blood and that was really not okay. That's that also caught me off guard. Got like a metally smell. No, thank you. Ugh. Thank God it wasn't like squeamish. Cause I'm pretty sure that would cause somebody to pass out. Yeah, I just had to clean it all up. Sorry about that, Chan. That's really gross. Even talking about it, I feel gross talking about it. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, back to this again. Both of them fill up, and that's what we need. Um, so right here needs to be a hole. And this hole is going to... Let's see. We might also have to void off like some of this fluid. I'm sure once it gets going, it won't be a big deal. We need to set up our train. Uh, well, actually, no, we need... We need to set up our coal farm and then possibly set up our train. But the idea is up here, we'll be tossed the sheets from our sheet farm. That sounds so weird saying that too. So our sheets are going to go here and they're going to get turned into plastic. And then right here, then this will just run along the side okay is this still running it is still running is our train still working i can't tell <laughs> i haven't seen our train come back in a minute so we'll have to keep an eye on that we'll probably have to figure that out here soon as well good morning how am i doing i'm doing all right we're doing all right so how are we going to do our tree farm and get our charcoal? So um, what we could do is right here we are currently we are currently splitting off our wood onto this belt line and then it gets sawed. But what we could do is possibly carry some of this wood onto another belt line over here um off off this way and then we could attach that and run it down this line to get it wherever we need to go like we could run it through here possibly probably split it up yeah it needs to run where this is at but we can split that right here i think that'll be good so 
slow chat today uh no different than normal so just just talking about chat like for just a moment chat typically at least when it comes to what i do and what i've noticed um from you guys is a lot of you guys are working right now and just have me on in the background while you're working so that's how i see it anyways and i don't expect everything to be something that there is something to chat about especially when you're this far into the pack like when you're this far into the pack and you're at the point where a lot of people haven't possibly gotten to there's going to be a lot less of here's how to do it and a lot more of observing how to do it um and with the occasional maybe here's a, a way a solution every now and then so i understand that yeah a lot of people are just working and lurking which i am i love i'm fine with that um let's see okay back to okay charcoal okay we, we're gonna need to grab a few things mainly belts mainly shafts mainly chain drives and possibly gearboxes Ooh, we're gonna need more gearboxes um we're also going to need uh, a fan which are we out of fans it looks like we're out of fans chat are you guys still here <laughs> i'm just kidding um yeah to be able to turn the logs into charcoal we're probably gonna want to use a fan I think I know just the way to do this too. So we'll figure out how to do this uh, down here. So, all right. So yeah, the idea is we are going to pull off some of the logs that we are sending down here. And I think that will be more than fine because this is where we're producing them anyways. It's probably gonna be a good idea to have them already set up. All right, anyways. This is the now when we can jazz it up. By the way, chat, uh, what do you think about the music? Is this is this been good or is there something else? Is jazz not all your guys' thing? Or does it not even matter? Jazz is goaded. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I kind of like it, but that is just me. Apparently, if we have this attached here, we can extend it. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, no, no, no. We need this uh, back one. Oh, shoot. No difference to me. Good music. Good, good, good. I'm still like, I still feel really weird like playing copy, like fully copyrighted music. Like, yes, this is copyrighted. But it feels weird streaming like normal music. <laughs> when the last five years, I've not done that. I've always used like pretzel rocks, but since I'm not putting music anymore in the videos, it makes no sense for me to continue to really worry about that. Give it low enough, you can barely hear it, but you are crystal clear. Yeah, good. Come on. Sometimes this won't extend, and I never know if it's reached its maximum extension. There's no indication of it. If you if you know if it's the maximum length or not.
Perfect. Honestly, if I was listening to anything right now, believe it or not, chat, it would probably be country music. I want like a country music kick right now, like the 90s country, like the the good time countries. Or at, least, at least it was good times for me, because that's, that's what I remember as a kid was like I was in the pickup truck with my dad, you know, and, and he was just jamming country music back then. So that's what I've been on recently. Your, your dad burned you on it? I loved it. I love music. I mean, my dad currently, like... Yeah. Condolences? What do you mean condolences? I love country music. I have no problem with it. Some people, like, absolutely hate it. I, some people do. They, some people hate it so much. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't hate, hate it. Hmm. Call me weird. Howdy, what'd you miss? You missed everything. Everything. No, we are, uh, we're running a belt line right now to get our plastic done, and then we're gonna get to building some stuff. At least that's what I'm hoping to be able to do. Oh god, please don't let this be too long. Uh, move this out one. I don't know why sometimes this one still works, sometimes it doesn't. Country's not your favorite, but you'll listen to it, I'll admit. Uh, there are some great guitar in country. Yeah. There are 100% is. Uh, Brad Paisley being a phenomenal guitarist. Phenomenal guitarist. Good stuff there. All right, let's see, go through here. Uh, we could possibly extend this bad boy out one, make it a little easier to carry over. There we go. Even though it's not a huge deal since we are powering it this way. Guess I don't really need that. Okay. So, um, we have this, uh, so we need to make some fans. Uh, we need to make some fans because we're going to be pulling the logs off of the chute onto the belt line. If I can, uh, I might want to try. These are sending out one at a time. Mm. One at a time is fine. One at a time is fine. What we'll do is we'll have a fan, I think, down here that is going to smelt these. Like, we'll just have a, a lava fan um, somewhere here. Was, is a good idea, possibly? Like, right here, blowing down that belt. So, let's go ahead and grab a fan. We have to make some, so. Oh, boy. Get a shrink mod on the pack. Shrink yourself. And no bumping into the belts. I, th I thought about adding the shrink mod. I thought about it. I'm surprised that something like that doesn't exist, but is not in the pack, but it's understandable. Probably for good reason. The shrink mod can be kind of powerful in other ways than shrinking yourself. If that makes any sense, 
Latchy, maybe that's probably why. Probably for Drigme Farm purposes, because you can shrink mobs down into tiny sizes and you can fit a ton of them in one block space. Nine ads of ETF. There's not even ads playing right now. How about the personal shrinking device? Yeah, the personal shrinking device can shrink other mobs. Yep. You can punch the mobs and they'll shrink. What? For real? Yeah. Yep. You can punch mobs and they'll shrink. Yeah, I felt so stupid in the episode that I just put out where, uh, for all the mods nine, where I had the, um, the demons, the crusher demons, and I had them in a block space and they were initially taking damage. I could have just shrunk them all. I could have just shrunk them all to be a little bit smaller and they would have fit perfectly in that space and there would have been no issues, but I'm a goofball, right? So, and I didn't do that. I should have, I should have. Oh, thank goodness. We have a fan right here. Yeah, instead of uh, like right clicking, you can just punch, punch the mobs. Crispy Bee says, help chosen. I am conflicted. I would like to catch the live streams, but I am very behind on the create world. So I want to continue the live stream VODs. What do I do? Like you can totally watch the VODs or you can uh, watch the stream. So there's a big difference between watching the VODs and watching the stream, right? The stream, you can hang out in here and chat. And to be fair, you're not really going to get the gist of what I've done in the past without watching the VODs anyways. So if you see anything in the in the current stream right now that you've missed, it's probably not going to be that much of a spoiler because you're not going to see everything that happened that went along with that, if that makes sense. So I think I, I think watching the stream, I mean, is a good idea, maybe, if that's what you have time to do. All right, so uh, let's do this. So we'll have our fan blowing down that way, and hopefully this will be fast enough. That's the thing that I've got to worry about, right? Is, is this going to be fast enough to handle going down that belt? There's our train, by the way. Okay, so it is working. Is that? Okay, it's not in the block space. I was like, what is going on here? So the lava should be able to go here. Lava goes here. And then fan goes here. And then we just got to get the fan spinning in the appropriate direction. Like that. And I think that makes the charcoal, right? Charcoal. Uh, logs. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then back here, we'll just, uh, we can't put a shaft really. I mean, we can, we can, I can put a shaft right here 
instead of what we had. And then here's where our chain drives are going to come into play. And that's going to be opposite. Yay. Opposite day, chat. So how about we put the gearbox here? That looks better. Now we're really cooking. Now the question is, is this enough speed and enough length to actually smelt a single log as it runs through this? Because my guess is no. And that means we need to ramp up the speed to make it longer. Definitely not. We could put a buffer here. Or we could make it longer. I think possibly putting a buffer wouldn't be a horrible idea. To make sure that it does fully produce. Wouldn't it backlog? It's fine if it backlogs. Yeah, these are these are systems that are okay to backlog. Um, so that that should be fine. We just need uh brass funnels for this to set a filter, and I think that's it. I think that's it. To have that fully running, we can just use a barrel. And so what I would do is we will have a barrel right here. And then we could honestly, we could tell it, hey, send out so many at a time. Right? And then instead of having this here, we can have this here. And so we could set charcoal. Uh, if I can get this to smelt, let's just put this here and then we'll it'll guarantee. Oh, not that. Put that here, then it'll guarantee this will turn into charcoal. It looks weird. I know it looks weird, but if I put that there, this should technically go through and it does make its way through. So as weird as that looks, it does work. And then we can set in here how many exactly we would want to come out at a time. And this is going to just continually produce, so that will backlog, which is fine. We have infinite logs. Okay, so we've got to get our logistics set up over here on how we're going to actually send this to this machine. And the way I'm thinking right now, the way I'm thinking, chat, and I probably shouldn't be thinking, uh, is maybe funnels? And a fan. Actually, we need more fans, don't we? Shoot. Should have just made more fans while I was over here. Uh, yo, can someone help me? My Minecraft launcher doesn't start when I press play in Curse Forge. Maybe restart your computer is maybe a good start. Um, make sure everything's up to date, including your drivers. Make sure your Windows is up to date. Make sure your Java is up to date and you're on the 64-bit version if you are using 64-bit version and not using what default curse forge gives you uh that's also another good suggestion um you need to go into your curse forge settings the bottom cog in the bottom left click minecraft and make sure you're giving it enough ram there's a lot of little uh, options there recommend checking out all of those things could help you launch minecraft and you can also check out our uh, discord and check out the uh faq section or even any of the pin things there or even asking for help in the Discord. We have a lot of people willing to help on the Discord, so definitely a nice resource. Better than the Twitch chat, typically, because I won't be able to always stop and just troubleshoot, um, especially issues like that. Okay, um, I'll try my best though. We need fans. Man, when I was in jazz band, playing drums like this, that was where it was at. I had a friend that was a drummer 
course, I was a drummer as well. But uh, I had a friend of mine that was a drummer, and my god, he played like this. I was a kid. It was so good. It'd be cool if these were like a physical item when you place them into the world. Like if you could click them and they actually looked like a decorative fan. That would be kind of neat. Problem with that is updating mod packs feels finicky. Um. Ursula AT launcher. I do not recommend. I can't recommend anything other than Curse Forge. Here's the thing to also think about. Curse Forge hosts these mods. Curse Forge is the place where you're downloading these mods no matter what launcher you're using. And when you don't use their launcher, right? You are effectively taking potential ad revenue from them and also mod developers when you do that. When you when you use other launchers. And what happens if there's no more revenue that can be generated from a service? It's gone. And then, no more mods. So I have a hard time recommending other people to use. And I, I've changed my views on this over the years. I've changed my views over the years. But it, it, it does make me hard, it make it hard to recommend other launchers. Until that sort of changes. So. It, it does make it, it does make it a little harder on me to recommend it. Fortnite Pro says the ad revenue is already horrible enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly, it, to me though, it's like, this is the place where you're downloading the stuff from. And when you download it from something else, from somewhere else, you, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more dirty. And the, and the Curse Forge launcher is great. Uh, back in the day, I was using uh, GD launcher, but that's when there was so many transitional things happening with like it going from like Twitch and going into back to curse forge and like all kinds of wonky stuff happening to the launchers but when they did a third party switch and made it a little harder for some some mods to be downloaded if they were not allowed to be downloaded off of curse forge's app then that's um yeah it becomes a problem yeah curse forge works fine for me too like there's nothing different that curse forge is doing that other mod pack or other mod launchers are doing or not really launchers clients whatever whatever you want to call them because you're technically everything launches from Minecraft, Minecraft's launcher at the end of the day for authentication reasons. So it builds the instances for you. Yeah. Auto, uh, Overwolf. Yeah. Overwolf. Um, just a side effect of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, I have Overwolf basically turned off. Like, Overwolf just doesn't start up. So, you should be fine with that. If you just disable auto startup of stuff. I hate, honestly, when apps have auto startup, but I understand why they do it. Why would you not want your application to launch up on startup? If there was no rules allowing you not to. So. It should be off by default. Yeah, I... I you think you think it should, but there's no, there's nothing in the rule book that says it should be. So, uh oh, no, I don't want that happening. Let's set this to nearest first. You automated radiance now. Yeah, right now we're actually working towards automating um, just splitting off the Radiance and making the plastic ones along with this. And then we're going to build today. I still have to add more to this train, which we're going to do here in a minute. 
and set up another train section. But other than that, we should be good. Okay, so back to this. Um, I made these fans because we're going to need the fan to push the items up. I'm pretty sure we can do that. I swear. Okay, there's my fans. So we're going to have a fan and we're going to have shoots. I hope I have enough shoots. Um, there's only a couple of blocks anyways, so. So kind of what I want to do is I want to have a shoot here. And then my belt line is going to run under this or to this. Right, it should be this level. Um, so technically one, no, this should be the right level. Really hard to judge sometimes. But we do have to extend this out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a fan on the bottom. And I think that this sh will shoot the items up. Like this should shoot the charcoal into the pneumatic processing plant so long as the processing plant um, ha has a, the ability to input from the bottom. I guess there's only one way to find out. And I guess I could test that right now. Really hope this works. Because that's this makes it way more convenient. I can't tell if that's pulling or pushing. I think it's pulling. I think that's pulling. Um And then that's pushing. Okay, so that that should be pushing. Um, and then let's try this. So I'm going to put a funnel on here. And then I'm just going to give it some coal and see what that does. Let's make some charcoal real quick. Actually, I have charcoal right here. So let's see if this makes its way into this. Okay, I need to remove the belt. Okay, that goes in. And there it goes! Look at that, chat. It works. Ah, uh, You couldn't ask for any better. You couldn't ask for any better. So, so fantastic. Are you still playing all the mods 9? <laughs> what? I am I've had a video go up every week or every day there's still videos going up but the video just went up well it won't go up today but there'll be a video tomorrow and a video for Wednesday and a video for the day after that and a video for the day after that I'm probably going to have the Eldemont star done though um all 18 of them very soon I think pretty soon which is awesome. I'm I'm having a blast doing that. What a goal to set, you know? It's been really cool going like, you know what? I can do 18 of these. No problem. This is too long. Definitely. I, I, we did stream all the mods nine a while ago. Like when I was initially, um, when we were initially playing it, like testing it out, I was streaming it, but no, I've not streamed all the mods nine in a while. I usually use Twitch as sort of a test bed for the YouTube videos. If I'm going to play them on YouTube, uh, not necessarily this pack. This pack is not that case. 
Oh, I was gonna... There was something I was gonna ask. Fortnite while you were here, but I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten it. Look at me go. I think it was something related to the trains going in the other dimensions. But I don't remember. Frick. Oh, well. Have I tried Fantasy Skies? I, no. I... There are so many mod packs. <laughs> it's crazy for me to... Like, I... I... <laughs> I would love to play every mod pack. It is like, it'd be, bon it's bonkers. There's just so many packs and like all it takes is one content creator to go, Ooh, I, I want to test this out. And then they play it a little bit. And then I get like 50 questions from people going Ch chosen. Are did you, have you seen this new mod pack? And then, and then I'm like, I, I haven't, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll check it out eventually if it's good, but yeah, I, I get that a lot. Yeah, I'm like, I have, I just, there's no possible way for me to be able to play every mod pack. Absurdity. I'll try my best though. That's all I can say, champ. That's all I can say. Do you imagine if I had the time to play them all? Oh, 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 that'd be good. I'd have the market capped, man. I'd have the market covered. We'd be playing everything. Search results covered. Anything you search. I mean, it's already pretty much like that. But anything you search on YouTube. Be a chosen video. First result. Time is our only weakness, I know. And see, I I enjoy my little bit of free time that I get too much to stream as if I didn't have kids, if that makes any sense. Like, this must be said wrong. Let's just remove it for right now. Yeah, I think I just enjoy what little free time I get to spend with my wife and kids a little too much to invest all of it elsewhere. I don't know. Call it bad business business practices, but it is what it is. All right, so now we've effectively got charcoal ready to be sent here. So let's open up the floodgates, chat. Let's open the charcoal floodgates. Oh God. Um. Let's start the pollution. Here it goes. Don't burn yourself out. Family always comes first. I swear. Blinked, and now I have three teen preteen daughters. I already feel that. And and I just think that everybody says that I blinked and it happened. And I think that's the same thing that happens with our childhood. We like blink and it's gone. And I feel like that's just life. That's just how it is. That's how it is for most people. And just because we don't remember doesn't mean our kids don't remember. Because I remember tons of things I did with my my dad. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he remembers. Especially with the stress of, of adulthood. I don't know. And I think dwelling on you thinking that you missed out on everything can just make you sad. And that's not good. I don't want to live my life thinking that I missed out on every little moment. really don't is that a way on you man that a way on you I've had it way on me when I was working in the factory I worked there for five years and it feels like five years of my life was gone 
I, I don't remember too much of my kids. I felt like my kids didn't uh, appreciate or love me as much as my wife. Because I just was always working. It sucked. But... I don't want to I don't want to think about that all the time. That's that just drive me nuts. All right, here we go. It's not consistent. We get what? 1 2 3 4 5 5 all the time. It looks it looks pretty good. They will build up. They'll build up on the belt and then they're going to build up here. But I mean, what else are we going to do, chat? Like what? Look at these assembly lines. These are insane. I'm so glad I gave myself space under here for these assembly lines. Ridiculous. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay. So now we need to get the plastic over here. Um, and so I think I'm going to make a little train. We have this train station, but I've got to figure out you. You. I've got to figure you out. Um, you need to head on over to the other train station. And I'm going to have to stop you temporarily when you get there. And we've got to do some work to this bad boy. Sorry for the heavy subject. Uh, time to appreciate the complexity of this mod. No, no, heavy subjects are fine. They're fine here. I love, I love talking about stuff like that. Um, not everybody's going to agree with my opinions, which I'm, I'm fine with. But it is what it is, right? I don't expect everybody to agree with my opinions. Uh, also, Chad is smart. Anyone know why... Wait, I have an idea why... Wait, what are you saying? Also, Chad is smart. Anyone have any idea why chat and YouTube audio video desyncs over time? They start fine, then within five minutes, the video is lagging behind and the audio... I'm unsure. Wh what audio? Like, who... Is, it, is this happening in my videos? Now, Twitch, there's a reason why this can happen on Twitch. But I don't... I'm maybe not so sure on the YouTube side of things because it's a little bit different. Okay. Um, This is a problem that we have right here because in reality, our train should be going the other way around. I might have to rebuild this train. But then, that causes problems. I, actually, I could just put the storage on this too, and we could just have this... on this side. Coggers? You know what? Can I put the storage on you? You're like right here, no. Or if it seems like self promo, do you have any tips for new streamers? Uh, just stream. That's what I always say. The only thing that's going to help you is. I don't know what you're wanting out of it, but. Trying to do what you're wanting to do probably is the best bet. And not necessarily worrying about how to to gain success in it, because I think that's a it's not exactly the best mindset to have. Because you're gonna really hate yourself if that's your mindset. Cause I I will tell you it is not easy to get started. You will stream to zero viewers for years. And that's just how it is sometimes. And maybe, and maybe you're not. You might get lucky. And you might get rated by the right person. And that might get you three more viewers consistently showing up to your stream because they maybe liked what you were doing. And then it maybe take another year. And then you'll notice that maybe you'll have like five more or six more. Like it's hard. It's hard. It's not something that's easily done. And I don't think building your Twitch viewership audience is also well done 100% through Twitch. You got to expand your horizons. You can't just do Twitch only. 
I don't feel like. All right, we got to figure this out. Maybe we just need another train. Like this is lava train. We should probably leave lava train alone. And we should probably just build bunker train. We should build sheet train. I don't know. I feel like I've done this all wrong, the way I've got all this set up. Actually, my train station maybe should just be down there. But, how will this work? Like, the train... I would have to move this train car, like, further down. it's not like it's gonna swell i could have the train stop here to get lava and then have another train station down the road with this guy on it and the, the train cars are a little further down and that'd be just a new stop i think that's the thing we need to do okay i i, I figured the trains out a little bit more i'm just figuring things out there's a lot to kind of comprehend here Cause I don't want to, I don't want to keep, like, I want to keep the trains consistent. Now that train, it runs through this way, I think. Yeah, it comes through here. So that's fine. Um, did I have, do I still have my train bag? I don't think this is 100% my train bag. Uh, I need, a, I need to make a train bag, like I keep saying I need to make one. I haven't made one. We need train casings. Sturdy. What else are we going to need for this? Um... Compass. We don't need train controls, but we just need more train stations. Uh, we do need the station here, and then... I'm going to need a couple more item vaults. Really, three item vaults should be good. For this train car that we're going to be adding. And then we need the kissy kissies. Oh, man. All right. Perfect. So, let's figure this out. Let's see if we can't figure this out. So, now we're going to have to make this schedule way more complicated than it is. Like, than it currently is. That's fine. All right, and then also, sorry, Coggers, but we got to figure out, I got to figure out where and how to set this up. Um, Like how much further do I, ahead do I put the train station uh, and so on and so forth. So this takes up, let's see. If I go ahead and I say, disassemble the train. I see I put that one there. Maybe we still put this one here, but we need to kind of figure out. Let's also change this. Uh, I guess I can't change it. Oh, because it's a train car. Um, It feels like it's too close. That feels a little better. 
And this will be an item vault. And then we need our kissy. And then that should be good. Now I gotta get a belt running from here into this and I've gotta figure out this train station again. Currently that's where that's positioned, okay. Let's go ahead and build this train after I glue everything together. I don't need anything under this, do I? Two trap doors. All right, so turn it into a train train. There we go. And let's move it a little bit out of the way. Sorry, Coggers, but you're coming with me for a minute. To figure out. I need to go right here. Where is Coggers? Oh. So this is one, two, three, four. Four blocks, technically. In front. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hmm. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five is what this is technically connected to. So. Sorry, Coggers. Hold on. Don't, no, stay. Come here, Coggers. You just sit down, buddy. Um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe over here, I'll place those materials down. Okay, that's one train station. I still just don't know where to put the main, I guess, if it is going to be receiving here. I just have to line things up and just hope for the best, I guess. It's wherever this bogey is setting under, I think, is where it stops. God, it's so confusing sometimes. This is the hard part about trains and using them logistically. I feel like the bogey is technically underneath that block, but it also feels like it's right in between. Okay, so if that goes there, then we need a train station here. You love that, <laughs> yeah, Create can turn this game basically into Factorio. Yeah, essentially, I mean, it kind of is like Factorio. Well, Factorio and Satisfactory, I'd say more like satisfactory with it being 3D, but yes. Okay, let's uh, move this completely out of the way then. So now we should have the ability to do two stops. God, you love Satisfactory. Can't wait for more updates. I Satisfactory is crazy. Okay, this needs to be Lava Collect. 
I wonder if I keep the same name. If that will mean anything. That will keep and maintain the same config that we've already set on our machines. Right? Okay, so that should do sturdy sheets. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Because I was I'm, my brain is in like two places at once right now, Chunky. I've already forgotten what I just said. <laughs> We're talking about satisfactory. Satisfactory is a lot. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying satisfactory is it's a it's a lot. We did like eighty hours worth of it on st stream here, and it was a freaking lot. But I will say, it did. It does feel smoother than the way this feels. This feels a lot more. So let's uh, let's go get. We need belts and funnels. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> the stream streak reached. Holy smokes. 30 stream streak, dude. Dang. That deserves his own reward. Own award. Jesus. I don't know how you manage to get here all the time. Either you work too much or I work too much. I don't know. It's probably one of those. It's definitely one of those. Okay. Um, we need funnels. What's the plan for today? To hopefully build. That's what I want to do today. But building does also require me to do some things like this. Um, because I want to make sure that we have things up and running while we're also investing our time by doing that. So I need to pull from here, and I I do need to take these up was the only side effect of how low I built these. Uh oh. Pepper. Welcome. Also retry requires chat to not distract me. That that is true. That is true. <laughs> But that's never going to happen. I'll just have to overcome and conquer. Will I ever get it placed? Uh oh. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at me going. Getting it done even with chat trying to break me. Uh... Why is there like a what in the world? Okay. That should function. Uh depending on how how we give it power actually. And then I'll get them later. I'll fix it later, chat, but for right now. That's sturdy sheets.
That's some sturdy sheets right there. All right, let's see if this is going to bring us into the station correctly. We have this station. What about this station? There it goes. We're filling up in the station. Okay. Good, good, good. So let's get our schedule. Um, now let's take this back to the base and let's set our deposit area. And hopefully we don't hit any of our other trains. Let's try not to hit any of the other trains. I still haven't learned how to read these signals yet. Oh! Okay, maybe if we hurry, we should be good. Uh, and our other train should stop. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right, we can set a train station to be like over here or something. Somewhere here. Um... I want it as close as I can get it to where that belt's at, but I don't think. Yeah, our train should stop over there while we're working on this. This is a nightmare. Okay, let's just bag it on up. That should be good. I think that's good. Okay. Do a train station. Facing this way. Dirty Sheet Depot. Let's get these sheets deposited. Okay, so this should be... Uh, it's close. Um, let's get it actually moved right into position on this. Approaching Sturdy Sheet Depot. Hey, it's in position. It is... Oh, that is just not okay. Like, do I move it back? Like, I don't, I don't know. How do I deal with this being like so jank? Maybe move it back? Maybe? This is in the middle of two blocks as well. Oh, geez, chat. Um, there's only one way around this um, to make sure that it's guaranteed to work. I wonder if it's these wheels that cause this to be janky like this. Like, you would think that wouldn't be the case, but it seems like it might be. Because my other trains, I don't think are doing this. I thought a few streams back you were looking at the train block that allowed you to change the distance between two bogeys. Yes, there is, isn't there? Isn't there something that does that? I don't remember. 
spraying gearbox. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I thought there was something though too, but I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, the only other solution I have right now is to just deal with it being like this. And what I can do to guarantee is I just do two portable interfaces. And we just need to make sure that our belts are working off of them. There's only That's the only thing we can really do. Okay, so for these, I need to send the sheets. So this is going to send sturdy sheets. And we need to send them here. Mm. Okay. So I need to get the items this way somehow some way we will get them over here I wonder if this will actually go vertical for me can I get this to go vertical and make it up that high probably not Mm, it's going to be way off. Okay, in this case, it might be best to try and send to this. To a... Whatchamacallit? Um, a flinger. A flinger? This thing. Can we send to this belt using a weighted ejector? From here. I think we might. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really hard to tell. Oof. It's going to be really hard to tell. Flipper Dipper? Yeah, it's a, uh, the Flipper Flipper Runo. Flipper 9000. Wait, that actually is a thing, isn't it? That's a real product. Isn't it called like a Flipper Zero? That hacky tool? Wrong way. Well, I guess I could put two gearboxes. And then we'll do this. Perfect. Um, I don't know if I have to specify only pull out sheets, but just to make sure we don't have any issues, I'm going to do that. Well, that should pull out sturdy sheets. Um, hopefully jump them up here. Let's test this out. This belt needs to be spinning in order for it to do that. So, gearbox. Oh, and it doesn't make it. Oh, bummer. It's not enough. Okay, uh, maybe a little room here? And it might make it? What if I give it a little bit more room?
Where did that go? Wait. Oh, shoot. It shot all into this belt. Um... I could potentially sh What if I have it go into like a brass funnel? I think it can shoot onto a brass funnel, right? Maybe that'll work. We'll see. Oh my god, that worked. Okay, uh, do I even need, do I need these blocks to be protruding here then? Something I also need to chest, test out. Yeah, I do. Oh. Huh. Maybe, maybe we can go to like the underside? I wonder if that will work. <laughs> what does exit code one mean? It means really not much. Um. It sort of means like good luck, really, because they that's that's like no information. Something you can do to maybe help it, make sure all your drivers are updated. Typically, a good good idea to just make sure all of your drivers are up to date. And um, make sure your computer is up to date. Make sure the mod pack's up to date. Man, that's the, I wish there was just better vertical solutions to these problems. We could do funnel, funnel, funnel back all the way up and stuff, but I could just, I guess, shoot these up. Okay, um, hmm. Another solution. I mean, we had it working here, but we had to have these blocks removed. What if I just had the belt a little lower? Maybe right here, like we do, like we can do a chain drive. Here and here. And then we just do this and then this. And then we drop this down a couple, couple blocks. Like that. Possibly. And then we maybe try to get it to land here. Seems reasonable. Right? We can maybe do that. And then it might go there. That's so cool, though. The fact that this even does what it does is pretty darn cool. Wait, wait, wait. I think it worked. I think it worked. Oh, it worked. It did work. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's so good. So good, chat. Okay. So now that we have that. We can move this back one. And we can use another flippity flop. All right. Let's use another flippity flop. Yeah. To flippity flop the items here. From here. Alright, and so we're just gonna continue our flippity floppity. And flippity floppity boop our way right to plastic production from our train. So, if all is well, what we should have happen is this gets sent. It goes to the belt, goes up, and should flippity flop its way onto that belt, get turned into plastic sheets, 
and make its way into the deployer, baby. That's what I like to see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at our logistics. Oh, it's so painful, honestly, to look at. Don't look at it, chat. All right. Better if we just imagine that it's beautiful. We just go from there, baby. Just go from there. Let's just let's just imagine that it's absolutely gorgeous. There's no flaws and we're just going to cover it all up as if it never even existed. You know, I think that's a good idea. Possibly a good idea. Yeah. All right, and then we'll put uh, storage right here. And look at that. We're going to have another sheet ready to go. Dang, chat. It don't get any better than that. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Okay. So now we can go ahead and put this in. And now set it to round robin. All right. And then uh, let's go ahead and get our train schedule made. And uh, we've got to get this back to Coggers. All right. Make sure there's no trains in the station. I can't see any coming, but Coggers roars around here. So scared that Coggers is going to jump. Stop because I'm on the rail here. The hole is blocked? What do you mean hole is blocked? Okay. So, Coggers. We need to talk. We need to make this schedule, and we need to make it now, and make it good, and concise, and perfect, and beautiful. Okay? Okay. So, Larva Collection. Uh, Larva's good. Oh, it looks like it keeps the name of the station, which is pretty cool. So you can move these around and not break your setups, so long as you rename it the same thing. I like that. So these are fine, but we need to add some steps in between. So Larva Collect is the first thing in Larva Main Station. Which one? Which one is Larva Main Station? What is this? This is Larva Collect. Okay. So it's going to go and collect the lava. Then we need to go into... Uh, we need to travel to station, and that station is going to be Sturdy Sheets. Um, and then this needs to go up, because that's the next in line. Then it goes to Lava Main Station, and then it goes to travel to station um, Sturdy Sheets Depot. Now, that's in correct order. Now, for this one, Sturdy Sheets need us to deposit, and we don't need it to do anything. Like, maybe we'll just set it to cargo inactivity. Like, cargo inactivity, five seconds is fine. And then, sturdy sheets, cargo inactivity, five seconds is fine. That should be our new thing. Yeah, this is larva. This is our larva area. See? Don't you see the larva? This is our larva. Yeah, that's what happens when molten rock squirms. <laughs> larva. Trust me. All right, Coggers, I need you to get back on the train. Uh, why do I not have... I need a wandering villager right now. Dang it, I made the schedule, and I don't have it in my inventory. Gotta love making these huge mistakes, right? Where you gotta go all the way back and do all of this and that. That I should just keep the leads in here. They need to be in the train bag, to be fair. You covered up a hole, but sturdy sheets get flung through that with the belt. Oh, I did. Oh, shoot. Um, 
That is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, this is a bit of a problem. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. And then we need to rotate this. And then... How do I want to power these belts? I This might work? I don't know if this is going to be... This will spin one belt appropriately. The other belt, maybe not. No, that doesn't spin the right way. Oh yeah, no, that's spinning the right way. There we go. Um, so now everything should have rotation and correct rotation, actually. Whoa, 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 why is, oh. Oh, that can send to the bottom side of a belt. I didn't know that. Why are these not working? Oh, I've got to power this one. I, I'm a goofball, chat. Please forgive, chat. Here we go. Look at plastic mechanisms. No, all the mods nine video. No, not on Monday. The last few Mondays I haven't published an all the mods nine video. I've got, I, cause I've got to give myself a break. It's like the, the grind is real. I don't even have a, any other way to describe it. The grind is absolutely real. Hey, I think that's it. We just need to turn this on and then we're good to go. Okay, we're just going to lead coggers to the right thing and hope our schedule works. I started this pack to break from it. No, no, I'm not saying the pack is a grind. I'm saying the YouTube videos are making are a grind. The pack is fine. I love the pack. Um, it's just when I go to make vi a, a ton of videos, it's it can get kind of hard sometimes. Not always am I in the mood. And I like to have my Saturdays. And I just never have given myself a break like the last five years. Hey, okay. I'm confused. Did that even do anything? It's got sturdy sheets, I guess. You want to spend time with your wife and kids? Jeez. <laughs> Believe it or not, I kind of do... Maybe the five seconds is not long enough. It was the last week someone spoiled it during stream. Wait. Oh, you got a shout out in the last video. Oh, yeah. yeah.
Enjoy spending time with your kids before they become teens and yell at you, yell at you for asking stupid questions. I I mean Already I get I get sass and attitude for my my kids. That's understandable. Okay. So let's wait for it to show up at the train track over here. Daughter yells at you all the time. I uh I'm gonna hope that my kids don't yet go yelling at me. That'd frustrate me a little bit. Sounds a little disrespectful. All right. Fills up with fluid. That's what it's supposed to do. Now we got to make sure that this is accepting the sheets. And I'm not going to have to come up with some convoluted solution to try and move the the bogeys into like position in some weird way do they call you based i can't even imagine what the next wave of kids speak is going to be no they don't i think my my oldest daughter is pretty quiet um pretty kept to herself like even in school um my middle child she says some weird things but she's like seven so that makes sense um Let's see, is that sending? Okay, that's not even connecting. It, it at least accepts one stack, I guess. That's so dumb that this is working this way. This makes the trains really hard to deal with. I don't know the solution to, to this. Unless it's the, there's some sort of, what was, what was, what was he? Wouldn't it be a part of create steam and rails like to add something extra train coupler to this thing? No, this adds two trains together to select a train track, then place the coupler nearby. Train couplers lets you couple and decouple trains without dismantling. Oh yeah, the word Riz. Oh my god, on God, bet. The list goes on. Yeah, that is like currently what was going on. But man, just think what we were saying when we were kids. Because... I, we can't even say them now. We can't even say the words now. It, you get cancelled. You get cancelled for saying the crap that we said as a kid. In school and stuff like that. No freaking way. Oh man, just saying. Yeah, just saying. We said a lot. Just saying. Hey man, I'm just saying. Okay, what? Wait. How did plastic get here? Oh, whoops. I made a mistake, didn't I? I'm not producing plastic.
Ouch, that really hurts. That really hurts my soul right now. But this just did that to me. Ouch, that really hurts me right now. That is 100% a kick to the teeth. Wow. That's a kick to the teeth. Okay. Um, interesting. So, yeah, we can't use charcoal. We have to use coal. Um, So maybe we just use a barrel down here for now. Build with this material. We can use like a drawer for now. Um, we will have coal automated. Um, that's sort of a goal. Something that I want to get automated for this purpose here. Uh, these are just floating. That should not be happening. That should not have floating items. Okay. Um, I probably need to use a funnel then. One one issue after another, isn't it? Um, that was a lot of sturdy sheets we just lost. Oh my god. No, stop. Just let me have this. <laughs> okay, that should block it now. Oh my god. Wait, why? The other one's blocked, like this one's blocking it. Why is this one not? Got double standards, chat. It's double standards, 100% what's going on here. Maybe a depot and a funnel out. Okay. We can try a depot. We gotta hurry. Depot. That might be too tall. I feel like it might be like, oh, it might be hitting like the roof area. Yeah, it's gonna hit this. Go ahead and remove it. Okay, 
Okay, good. It's holding. Holding strong. Okay, that worked better. So now to fix our plastic problem, back at this again, um, yeah, I think just going for a drawer for now and just putting our materials in it. Even though this is incredibly fast that it, it consumes the coal pretty quickly. Um, I hate these temporary solutions because we built out all of that to be producing and I didn't realize that it was a biogen section. Oh, that's frustrating. It's probably the least frustrating thing though I'm going to have to deal with. I'm sure there's going to be way more frustrating things. This is just icing. All right. I think we're going to be able to ease our frustrations though here in a minute because I want to build. So we're two hours in, but I want to build today. Um, let's get some coal. Be like three stacks of coal for now as we build our plastic up. I don't know how many of these plastic components we're going to need, but. About to find out. Okay, this is charcoal. That's charcoal. That's charcoal. We need coal. All right, so now we have the coal. Wonder how long this is gonna last us. We have tons of coal that we can find. We we have so many nodes to do manual coal, but I just don't want to do manual coal if I don't have to. All right. So what are these used for? Um, exactly. These are for the plastic machines. So this looks like um. Okay. So we have the diffuser. This is for expelling potion effects in the air as a actual effect. Pressurized spawner. That requires PCBs. So that we'll be working on later. Electrostatic compressor. We can make resonant internal components with this. Okay, that's great. Solar compressor. Interesting. And then this, these are allow us to make the igneous extruder. Thank God, chat. Oh. We can now make that. Finally, the igneous extruder, chat. Oh. Unlimited cobble. Goodbye, laggy, ridiculous cobble gins. Okay. So we'll let those continue building up, doing things. Also, uh, I did find out, because I didn't know, but immersive weathering, the same thing that does this mossy stone stuff, there are multiple different ways that you can combine water and lava and other blocks to get different materials including andesite granite well i don't think you can get andesite from but you can get granite you can get calcite you can get all of those different things from the immersive weathering and the wiki has like all of the things that it can be changed into on it so pretty cool a lot of different materials 
All right. Is this set to random? Round Robin. Well, there we go. So now we have Radiant. Um, and what's the Radiant used for? Radiant mechanism. I think that's just more thermal stuff, right? I hope thermal. I don't get stuck in the machine. Sigma! You got lucky. We weren't standing above it, so you got super lucky in that one. Stuck in that. <laughs> yeah, the machines are crazy. By the way, welcome, Sigma. Good to have you. 43 months, man. What a time to be alive. All right, let's go ahead. And I don't think we need that setup anymore. We already have 50 something of these. Holy smokes. Okay. Before I know it, we're going to have everything we need. But the goal is to kind of build this sort of today. It's kind of what I want to do. I want to continue this like this sort of station. And I want to cover a lot of these things up. And I have an idea in my head that is very train station-esque. And I'm hoping that we can do it and it look good. That's the idea. It's going to cost a lot of materials, I think. Um, and then we'll have to figure out how to farm those materials to build it. But that's something I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see. You're excited to see more builds. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to get this started fundamentally um, and cover this ugly mess. There's a reason why I'm keeping it behind these walls, right? Is because I want this, I kind of have this idea of this like tubular shape, like a train station. Yeah, we don't have building gadgets, no. We have this flight, um, we have the building wands, and we do have the spell book, which can all help us. However, we don't have a randomized glyph. Um, and I don't think it randomizes by default, um, so... All right, so is this still working? Do we have the bottles? Or are they glitched out again? They glitch out. So these glitch out on like world load. It's very weird. Sometimes it just does. Why am I just now getting that quest? Sometimes they don't like Star Gemini 13. Make it through here. Dab oh, causing 1000 no. to fall into chosen's hands. No. The people at the coffee shop I go to keep misspelling my name. So it's a game now to see how bad they misspell it. Star Gemini. Holy smokes. Thank you, by the way, for the thousand bit runos. For those lucky bits as well. Oh, shoot. No. It's a game. They're misspelling your name. That's. That's interesting. I mean, I would never expect somebody to know how to spell my name, though. I mean,. Well, my name, my name is pretty easy, but there's multiple ways of spelling it. Shoot, I would probably just write the first letter of somebody's name on it. There's probably a reason I'm not a barista. I don't work in a coffee shop. <laughs> I would not be good at my job, I don't think. I'd probably make it work, but it would take some work. That is for sure. Uh oh. Hey, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Just saying hi. What we saying? Since I'm trying to do my homework on my break. Oh, God. Well, love you. Love you, babe. Hope your day is going good. Oh, jeez. Did I miss any? Oh no. Okay, good. Oh. There we go. But yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the build's gonna go. I'm interested to see what my little pea brain can do and figure out. But this lag, this is the thing. I just want to kind of build it, for, leave it, and forget it. I think the other thing we might set up over here is just processing of cobble uh, into its like various different things, right? Cobble. We can have like a constant generation that takes cobble and uh, breaks it down into gravel and then also another section that breaks it down into sand, flint and clay and then take and split that sand and then that sand can be haunted into solar sand, split that and also be turned into glass and uh, 
We can even split it again and make even more clay. So, and then also have sand and gravel so we can make concrete if we want for anything concrete related. Um, there is a way I think to take it even further, uh, technically, but just having those few things done, I think would be great just to have them building up in containers and we can, we could probably fit that all right here perfectly because we have all the logistics to do that. Um, are you planning on rebuilding the early factories later on? Uh, potentially, um, now that we have cobble gins, things are a little bit easier to rebuild, but there's a lot of things that we don't really need to rebuild. If that makes any sense. Um, I don't, I don't think we're going to need to rebuild them as of right now. Could be wrong. The world seems laggy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's an understatement. That's just this area. This area. Look at that frame rate up there. The frame rate is terrible. The F, the TPS. Is normal. Right. The TPS is normal. And the frame rate jumps back to normal when we get over here. So. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's closer to normal. Um, so I'm asking, it is, it is horrible to rebuild so much in one spot yeah that's why i don't think rebuilding it's going to help any like what i i don't i don't think rebuilding it's going to going to do me any good there's a mod called observable it doesn't have fps implemented can't use it okay enough of that so, uh, radiant machines, these are things that we can make, right? Um, so we can now make a magma crucible. We can make, uh, controller extensions and controller extensions are pretty neat because we can use controllers to technically wirelessly send items around with controllers and stuff. Um, which is a thing we can do. I think we'll need to eventually get our power going. Oh, we actually get an Emmy chest. Illumination panel. Oh wait, do we get in we get some AE stuff already? We can make an ME crafting terminal? Wait, what? We get AE chance? But we only get we only get a terminal though, right? We don't get like a storage bus or anything, do we? No. So we can't even really, I mean, there's no reason even using it, to be fair. It's kind of just like a tease. It's literally a tease. Because what are we going to, I mean, what do we use AE to put eight lights around our base? What's, what's, how expensive are the cables? Oh, they left it in here, but the recipe is gone. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't. So we don't have access to that until time machines. 
Time Machines is what, the next chapter of magic, right? Definitely a tease. Is there an ME drive? Well, um, we can't make this because we need a time machine. Time machine requires what, the next tier of magic, right? Yeah. Time machine, empty vial. Gives the vial back. Two radiant mechanisms. One time in the bottle. With no stored time on it, apparently. I don't know if that matters. Um, Enderium. Which we need to, of automated lead, diamonds, ender pearls, and everything for. I feel like through the progression of this pack, what ends up happening is early game, it's so quick. Everything's so quick. You're automating, you're automating this, that, this, that. And then now it's going to get to the point where now it takes you four hours to automate one thing. And then it's going to take eight hours to automate another thing. And then it's going to take you even more time to automate the next thing. If you want to automate it, which we don't have to automate. But probably a good idea to do so. Those are OP if we enchant them. Yeah, I looked at that. <coughs> hmm. But anyways, I want to build today. I don't want to. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to get into that. Which I know I need to. I'm doing that right. I'm looking at it ahead, but I really should be right now because I want to focus on getting this built, and not necessarily focus on all of this. Which minecart contraption is this? I think this is our. This is our rail. Uh, this is our machine that needs to be here. Trains are the past AE2 now, baby. I don't, I wish that was the case. I don't think that's the case. I have a hard time believing that that's going to be how this pack goes. Um, let's see. Export bus. Jesus. Okay. Um, once those are automated, then yeah, probably. Uh, what's the controller? Okay. Is AE is everything AE2 unlocked at that point? Didn't they turn off auto crafting? Did they? Uh there's a assembler, there's a pattern provider. There's an assembler. There's your, there's your cells. They wouldn't have added recipes for them if they were disabled. Crafting units. Final PCBs though. You need final PCBs to, to even make the logic processors. So you're going to have to have those, right? Or no. 
Oh wait, are these only used for the auto crafting? Oh. I would say the good use of this is applied energistics has a way of, of cra crafting in the smithing table. And so you could take all of your current components that you've had built and then you do the smithing table. No auto crafting, Vault Hunters again. It's not, no, we have auto crafting. We already have access to auto crafting. All right, we're going to have to figure out with like shapes of things how we're going to want to build in our base area. So this is where I wanted to come up with some color palette ideas for today, all right? So, uh, we know we're going to use andesite. That's 100% a given. You need to get automatic genius in Vault Hunter's Autocraft. Yeah, that, and it's insane. That's the idea of it. It's insane. Vault Hunter's has autocrafting as well. Yeah, Pepper. That's laughable. That's That's funny. You have fully beaten to probably every extent possible Vault Hunters by the time you get that. It's not there. It's a joke. It's a meme. You know it's a meme. Don't even hide it. You 100% know it's a meme. By the kind, but by, by the time you get there, you don't need it. Yes, I, yeah, goofy. I understand. I guess this gal's disdain for that, but okay. Um, so we need a circle calculator. I under, understand what the need for it is in the pack, but it is funny that it's even there. Okay. So, Minecraft circle generator. So what we need is, if I'm going to start a circle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, so 22, 23. So we have a 23 radius circle, 23, 23. Height, 23. Thickness, one block. the way this is going to look okay so i'm sort of i'm i'm sort of mapping out what the shape is going to be like but i do know that i want to i want to bring this up quite a bit so at least the height of this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so it is 15 tall and then we are going to go up to up to up one and then over one two and then over two more again and then we should have one two three and this should be the middle We've done this correctly and ultimately this will be the overarching dome shape that we are going to have in the middle of all of these areas here um, and then these are going to have a flat roof that are going to be somewhat in this general area like right here 
Like, it'll be, like, off this direction, or even a little bit lower. Not quite sure yet where I want to put that. Imagine handcrafting 27 gold processors to make a 64K. I don't want to imagine. The train station from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm just going for like, I looked up train stations, right? And every train station kind of looks the same. You know? One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. They all kind of, that's not right. What did I do wrong? One, two, one. wrong here where it goes one this is supposed to be one two that's also looks wrong why does that look wrong to me i'm probably going blind here ain't it <clears throat> that's the center This should be one, two, one. One, two, one, two. One, one, two, one, two. Now it's wrong. What in the world? What have I done? Let me double check my work. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Thank you. Holy moly, my brain. I would have been stuck on that all day long. I would have never let that go. I would have been like, I built this whole building one off. That would have been so infuriating. Oh my God. I forget I have this uh, expanded out one. There we go. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Now we're fixed. Holy smokes, Chad. I was going to lose my mind there. Now, does this seem like a fair shape? Is that that seems like a fair shape.
Yeah, I feel like that's, that seems reasonable. Yeah, that extruded seems fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And that should be the same distance. Yes, fifteen. Let's go get all those pillars set up. Let's so make sure it should be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, start over here first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You're going to be bouncing as well? Say, uh, again, saying the schematic cannon is going to be your friend. Yeah, we're going to probably use the schematic cannon for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. That's 14. All right. Now, how high do I want this roof to line to be? Ignore you? No, you're good. I seen you. That was wrong. I just had to back off one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Seems reasonable. Or the way our factory is currently set up, that seems very reasonable. We're back at it again though, chat. Building again been a hot minute but we're we're getting it done now right so this will be a dome that's going to go through the middle and then this is going to be flat here like a roof i think that'll be okay this might take us multiple streams what it's all about though about being chill thirty FPS, forty FPS. Hold on, chat. You don't see what's happening. Look at the frame rate right now forty. 30 FPS. That's reasonable, right? Look at that. Okay. If I now open the Twitch dashboard in Chrome, I just opened it. Why? Why would I open my Chrome or not my one of my streaming dashboard? What? If I'm in another tab, it doesn't do that. If I'm just in a blank tab. We're good. Now it goes back up. I'm not in the, the tab anymore. What? The Twitch 
dashboard in Chrome? Okay, so I just learned something. Just keep Chrome closed. Well, or keep the uh, the dashboard closed. Problem solved. I can see chat over in my uh, OBS, so. Whatever. Is what it is. Maybe it's the decoder. You think maybe it's the stream preview? Me hide the player. No, I closed the player and I think it's something to do with rendering Twitch chat or something. You love how create just throws RF out the window. It just throws the power system that everyone's always used. Yeah, completely out the window. Um, I'm getting creative flight from a feather in my inventory. So I have a magical feather and it grants me flight when I'm around a beacon. And so I have a beacon right there. In which I kind of want to change the beacon. To be fair, I don't need the brake speed. So let's do this instead. Want some speed. Yeah, I think the idea, possibly, what we could do is we can get at least one side built to use the schematic cannon for the others. So I think we can rotate the entire building process. Just having the resources to do all of that is pretty consuming. And then this will give us an outline to make sure we're lined up properly. The worst thing we could do is start building with the schematic cannon. And then the next thing you know, we built it all wrong, and now we got to take it all apart, and that would suck. Because the schematic cannon does not have an undo button. Yeah. There's auto create a flight with um, Reliquary's Rending Gale on a pedestal as an alternative. Um, and of course, it's not a plug or anything. You know, the Rending Gale gives you... I, I haven't found one yet. Um, I didn't know that it gives you creative flight while on a pedestal. I thought it shot lightning at mobs when it was raining. Huh. Should probably update your uh update your description on there. This is an older version, so I don't even know. Maybe you have and it just they just haven't. They're just not on the right version. ignore me pepper if that's the case I do like the uh the Rindy Gale though it is a fast way to not only fly around but you can also use it to just run around really fast and automating chickens is pretty easy
There's a JEI description that has that info. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh, you're saying the info. Okay, lost player. No, it's not in here. Like I said, I don't know what version of Reliquary they're on, though. Oh, the pedestal. I don't see it. Did I miss it? Fishing rod. Fishes for the player. Doesn't pick up items or XP. You need to use something else for that. I might use that. I wonder if that is going to work for bees. I wonder if I can use that in all the mods 9 to fish up the... The bee I'm gonna have to fish for. And then use the uh the bee collector to try and automatically collect it. Fishing a bee? Yeah, so there's uh the all the modium bee. There's a Patrick Star bee. And you have to fish it up. You have to fish up the Patrick Star B if you're wanting that B particularly. In which I'm going for the um I'm going for the final like all the mod B. So I can make infinite all the mod stars. And to do that, I have to first get the get the Patrick B. And then right click a block of all the mod stars onto the B. And so I'll need, I think two, because I need the Patrick star B to create the Patrick stars. Unless I, I could just automate the stars. Those actually aren't that hard to make the, the Patrick stars. Do I not have an, I don't have an andesite. Hmm. Did our tree farm stop? What is wrong with this thing? I swear, this thing is the jankiest thing. This has been one of the most janky things to set up. It really has. Like, I don't know what else to do. This, like, has, like, a locking mode. And, like, locks in a weird way. I have a feeling like this, this like perpetually locks this whole setup up. I gotta fix this. I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, but occasionally my Patrick B will duplicate. And as far as I know, they can't breed. They they might be able to breed. Uh, 
Um, okay. I've got to get... I think two... I think what I'm going to use is... A couple of the links. And I'll use the saplings for them. So. What we can do is... Leave this threshold, I think, correct. But it, like, flashes so fast... It doesn't allow, I think, time. It doesn't allow time. I think we need an, a regular shoot. That might honestly fix the problem. set that and then okay um but we still have the problem where this is locked let's unlock that and then we'll put a redstone link and then a redstone link here and so this mineral saplings and then if we click this, put it receive mode, shift right click, that's received. So this should, when this fills up, then send it the redstone signal. Instead of it locking itself with probably some redstone mechanic. And then that should lock it. We're about to hit the threshold. Whoa, whoa, we're over the threshold. There it goes. Locked. And go. Okay. I think that will be fixed now. That should make sure we maintain all of our andesites. Okay, um, andesite itself. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I don't have it going into a container, to be fair. I should totally be splitting this and uh, storing it elsewhere. I don't have a dedicated andesite line, do I? Uh-uh. We could send this, maybe split it to a depot? Now I also need to figure out 
how many of these bands do I want in this area? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. be really hard to divide this number the 29 31 did I really build this out 31 I've got to get um forks in this pack so we should have a tape measure What is it called again? Abacus. The funky jam. It's all these songs are so good. Okay, this starts at zero, then one. So we've got to add one to this total number. It was 31, so I was right. Okay. 31. Oh, uh, how are we going to do that? Dang. Why do we have to have a prime? Why did we build with prime numbers? Who does that? How long have you been playing this pack? Oh, uh, this is our 20th stream playing it. We have 6.28 days worth of playtime. Who does that indeed? I know, right? What the heck? What's wrong with me? Why did I build it out like that? I don't remember. Um, okay. So with that in mind, let's just imagine this is going to get sent out one more block then. Or the inside here will get pushed in one more block. Possibly. Yeah, I think the inside will get pushed in one more block. Yeah. So that makes it 32. So in that case, one, uh, one, two, three, four. Mm, that actually doesn't make it any better. 33 would be a good number. Then we could have three splits. You know what? I guess it really doesn't matter all that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then over here, one, did I count from here? Where did I count from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then right here will count as well. I'll keep opening the Twitch chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that and that. Mr. Limey, welcome in. Hello, peeps. Welcome. Max and Mac, welcome to the three stream streak. Good to see you. Welcome back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eh, eh, eh. Counting with chosen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we'll uh we'll like build this up the same way. 
Or building gadgets when you need them. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. We just got to build out this one side. Why need building gadgets if you got schematic cannon? Because with building gadgets, I don't have to carry this thing around. Also, um, so with the, uh, with building gadgets, I could just copy this, what I'm doing right now. And I wouldn't have to worry about using the schematic cannon. You have to go back and forth and back and forth with the schematic cannon. I feel like we should get like maybe the I don't know what the what's the limitations on the schematic cannon. We might be, have we might be building too much. One, one, two, one, two. Hey, there we go. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. People wonder what's going on behind the scenes whenever I do like builds and stuff like that. Welcome to what actually happens. There's a lot of counting, non stop counting. That actually looks pretty cool. Starting to look like a train station, chat. Now I just wonder, should we start prepping up like our infinite glass? our sand, our gravel, all of that stuff. I feel like we should have that running right now and also the bricks because there's going to be a lot of bricks being used here. Um, let's also check this real quick. Let me deposit that. Um, I want to head back to the base. I want to look at some ideas. So, um, I kind of want to play with a couple of different block colors and see what kind of looks good together. I wonder if there's any buildings that we can tear like brick down from. Yeah, I want to make an auto crafting brick station. That would be good to have in here. How about a build that just builds itself? Be pretty sick. 
Where do I have a... Do I have a smelter set up? So, yeah, it's right here. And this is smell, right? Oh, doggo's on it. Well, that should work. Uh, have you done a tutorial on wireless crafting with integrated dynamics in one of your series? Wireless crafting. I have done a... I have gone over how to craft in all the mod 7 to the sky with integrated dynamics. But wireless? I mean, you can... I've, I did show how to use the wireless grid... And you can, it works just like refined storage. Like you set up the auto crafting with the, the, the crafts happening in the, on the crafting table. And you can access that from your network and you can make your network wireless. Yes. Yeah. All the mods, all the mods seven to the sky. I did that in, you can look through the thumbnails and you'll see the episodes that are integrated dynamics related and they'll be in that. Somewhere. Somewhere buried. Okay, so here's our bricks. Um, so we have bricks. We have this. I just want to see how things are going to look together. Stone. Um. Even. Maybe deep slate for like the roof, possibly. Um, what are some other cool colors like to mix with these blues? The mineral block has some variations. There is mineral glass too, which is kind of cool. Brick looks pretty good with that. Play around with some different colors and stuff. So weird that that has the texture sound it has. Kindy says, Chosen, I like you. Well, thank you. I like you too. Mike Control, welcome. Hmm. I don't know how I want to go about this. I wonder what this wood would look like next to some dark oak, which I don't actually have any nearby. Mm. Where is the closest forest? That's actually, that building is really close to us.
Now that that I just experienced is enough to give you the chills. Holy whoo. I don't know what that was, but that's not normally something that you want to see. And it's scary. They may just be moving cargo, but I don't freaking know. That was, that was shaking my office chat. So that was a convoy of cargo copters that just flew over. Jesus Christ. There was like 10 of them or more. Jesus. Like, and they were flying low, like they were low. Holy smokes, man. Like giant transport helicopters. I was like, what? I don't know if you could hear it in the mic. Probably not because of the the stuff. Jesus. Fire, Fire in the, the hole. <laughs> Talon, welcome in. Yeah, it's enough to give you like chills though. That's like stuff you see in movies. I don't know what they're up to, but. Yeah, because the closest air, like we do have an Air Force base in Missouri. But it's like not where I live. It's like. It's not like there's nothing wh where I live. And they're heading. Let me see. I am. What direction are they heading? That is weird. They're heading towards like, uh, they're heading north. Like towards, I wonder what, is there a, I wonder if there is a military base that is like in Arkansas? Cause that would only make sense. I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That was that was intense. That shook my whole office, dude. My whole office was shaking. It felt like an earthquake. I didn't, that was ridiculous. It was scary as hell. That's not something you want to see. You don't want to see military choppers flying over really low. That is pretty scary. At least it is for me. All right. Um. They were empty, so I don't, they weren't hauling anything. When they hover over your, <laughs> when they hover over your house, it's a problem. Yeah. Could be a training exercise. I just don't know why they would be flying over residential, why they would fly over the, our city. I don't know. No telling. All right. Um. Back to what I was working on. I was trying to figure out like a color palette, but so far. Oh. Quote unquote training. Dude, with everything going on in the world right now, it is really hard for me to not be uncomfortable when a bunch of humongous helicopters go flying over your house. Okay, I'll show you what just flew over if you want to see. This is what just flew over the house. What was just flying over. And like I said, there was a bunch of them. Like, there was a lot of them. And it wasn't just one. It was like, like I said, there was like 10 or more. Um, this thing. Looked just like that. I just flew over. That's what I was saying. It was 
shaking the darn house, man. <laughs> That's crazy. They were flying so low, too. Like, so low that I could see the windows and everything. I see every little aspect of the plane. Those are huge. Yeah, that's what I said. That, that, it was huge. I've never seen or heard that before. Nope. And we don't have a, uh, like, a military base here. So, that's kind of crazy. They're getting ready, chat. They're getting ready. Oh, God. A Chinook? Is that what it's called? A Chinook? They all get different names. That's insane, though. Seeing dual, dual rotor helicopters flying over? They're chasing the Chinese balloons. That's honestly too... That's too funny. That is a little funny. I will say that. Honestly, though, with the way the the world is right now, it is it is hard to not be scared of a of something flying in your controlled airspace. Yeah, it is pretty it is pretty pretty scary. I mean, maybe shooting it down with massive rockets, it, probably a little overkill. But I mean, who doesn't enjoy a little bit of overkill from time to time? You know, who doesn't enjoy that? We're a bunch of video game players. We understand. We we can relate. All right. Where we go? Do I have a dark forest anywhere nearby? You know what? We may not have to use glass glass like actual regular glass because i did have an idea of using this biome that we found to potentially use the the black glass there as the roof nah i think that looking out your window for a giant set of lights and a big plane because you're scared as bad. Wait, what? They, they could have lifted and relocated your whole house easy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not joking when I said when it flew, when they were flying over just a minute. That's why I, it startled me. You don't see how startled I was? Because it felt like it was an earthquake. I was about to get out of this thing because I didn't want it to topple over. I haven't been that startled in a long time. I think the last time I was startled, I was uh, I was recording a video, and it was when we lived at her other house, and there was a drive-by shooting that happened right across the street from me, mid-recording. And I, I kind of panicked because I didn't really know what happened at the moment. I was like, kind of, I, I was like taken back because of how loud it was. <laughs> Joseph was like, I'm out. Yeah, I was like taken back for a moment. I was like, wait, I was like, did that just happen? Did I just, was that gunshots I just heard? And I stepped outside, of course, like an idiot to look. And all I smelled was gunpowder, like gunfire. What, what it smells like when you're at the range. Somebody... Shot at, shot up one of the houses next door, kind of corner to us. Freaking ridiculous. Crazy, crazy. I'm so glad we don't live there anymore because that was horrifying. Um, okay. I need dark oak, but, but chat. I don't see any dark oak biomes. Um, let me. Do I have my biome compass on me? Sorry, I'm a little, still a little shaken up here for a moment. Forgive me. I'm a shot of a house close to you. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. That was a... What was that in a sus area or just... Yeah, it, that's the thing. It's like pretty... It was like a pretty calm area, but it like it wasn't in like the greatest side of town per se. 
Like, but it's just a lot of older people that lived over there and a lot of people that are working in the factories and stuff nearby. What the problem was with the shooting, apparently, they had, uh, they came to our city from St. Louis. They were from St. Louis, Missouri, which is a much bigger city, and it was all over drugs and stuff. So, who knows? Who knows? It was all over whatever was going on there. It is an area, though, where, like, drug-related crimes are a little bit higher, where we were living. A lot more, lot more drugs in that area. Not the legal ones, either, because you should see the dispensaries here, because uh, marijuana is legal here. You should, I swear, the, the dispensary dr has a drive through here. It is more backed up than the McDonald's at lunch rush hour. Always, always full. Dude, it is, it, they, they are lined up in the road. It's crazy. Boy, that's the business to be in. Shoot, man. That's the business to be in. The dispensary with the drive-thru is almost just selling, yeah, alcohol food. It straight up has a drive-thru. I'm not even, I'm not joking, man. I'm not joking. It has a drive-thru. Um, you're kidding me. So it's out, it's, uh, out east. I don't see a waystone out this way. What is that? I never unclaimed that, did I? have the river village that's the closest one Maybe we'll find some dark forest solution nearby, possibly. Hey, there's a crab. Hello, buddy. Hey. Who's being so rude? He knows I voted for the armadillo. I did not vote for the armadillo. I was very against the armadillo. What another goofy addition to Minecraft. At least the crab would have been more encountered because I have, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that biome that the armadillo's in, to be fair. Like, I actually love seeing these. Look, look, oh my God. That's adorable. And these provide a scoot. We already have the armadillo. It's right here. But now we don't get reach. And I would have loved Reach. Like these guys, look at that. Could have added that to our aquariums. What are we gonna do with an armadillo? The only thing you do with armadillos where I live is you trip over them in your garden. And they hiss at you. They do, they hiss at you. Maybe it's because we run them over here and it's like annoying. <laughs> That's why I don't want an armadillo. They are like massive speed bumps here. <laughs> They're an armored possum. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's not, I'm not joking. We have, we have both skunks and armadillos. We have skunks, armadillos, raccoons, all of those things. Possums, possums will tear your trash all to pieces. Worse than a raccoon. They also hiss at you. Very weird when you think a snake is after you, but no, it's a possum that's curled up like and, and trying to, to hide away in like a corner of a garage or something. Yeah. Oh, this biome is so pretty. 
What is this? It's an orchard. No wonder it's so pretty. Full of apple trees. It's crazy to me that the dark, dark oak is this far away. I'm going to farm as much of it as I can, though, while I'm over here. And grab some saplings. Ooh, purple water. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's like eventually load. Come on. Wasn't the reason why people voted Armadillo was because they were hoping to add API for mob armors or something like that? I, I don't think so. I really doubt that like, I don't know. I could be wrong though, but I, I would, I wouldn't think that the, ma the majority of Minecraft players are crazy hyped about what the modded side of things are doing. I doubt that would be a majority of people. Also a minority of people, but not the majority. Maybe we'll find the... Do you think inside of one of these we can find a... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, oh shoot. I'm already tripping things up. No, just pneumatic tubes. Go ahead and set them all off, why don't you? Hey, there's a rune. Take some more bamboo on it. A, a rending gale, that's what I was looking for the name of. There's an ass... Nope. That's not what it's called. It's an ocelot. I was going to call it an ocelot, but it's not an ocelot. It's an ocelot chat. <sighs> it's like, yeah. Look at the squids in the minimap. Look how many trees there are here. Did I? Okay, there's got... I hope there's a waystone nearby. Please. I have my pickaxes, which I guess I could use to harvest the logs. It's it wouldn't be a horrible idea. Um kind of want to fly around and see if there's a waystone. It's also like a swamp. What is this? Oh, this is tough. Bunch of lava pools. Do you have the chop? I don't have the spell in my spell book. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually craft that one. That was the, the fail spell. That was the only one I didn't craft. It's like, ah, I just won't need this. Now I'm regretting not making it. Okay, I don't see a waystone. That sucks. <clears throat> How dare you. Yeah. Stoner. Jeez, I'm trying to sleep here.
I don't think we can see these on the mini map either. I wonder if a scry would be a good way to kind of locate these. Stop yelling at subs. No. Do I have blink? No, I do not. Because blink um, is a tier three spell and we can't make the tier three spell book just yet. I don't think. Right. It requires an eternal Stella and we don't have the stuff to make that just yet. It requires a little bit of mob farm work. We're going to have to do some mob farm work to really get that working. You guys don't see a waystone anywhere, do you? Dang. I think I saw one near the base. Right. All right. Is what it is. What's that blue? Light blue corundum? Corundum, I think it's called. Ooh, we got a dungeon under here. There's a tiny dark oak forest as well. Dang. All right, well, we'll uh, we'll just use our picks, I guess, for right now. That's pretty fast. And then we'll put that on. Not gonna be any trees left when we're done. Dark soul plus sapling. Um, oh, if you need elderwood, dark soul plus sapling. You're talking about these? No, I'm just harvesting these. I don't know if we're going to need them later on, but. And the video quality of your tablet sucks. Oh, God. Sorry, Edelwood. Isn't it Edelwood? Edelwood. I, I keep calling it Elderwood. El Elderwood. Elderwood. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've like once I've said it wrong the first time, which was I think back in like all the mod six when I first like really played with this mod. That's when I just forever called it that. I don't know. You're chopping trees with a oh god. I just it just forever sticks with me. Yeah, I'm using a pickaxe. It's pretty fast. And we don't have a regular axe on us. You guys are a bunch of trolls. Did you see that? You see that Enderman over there? Look at that dude.
Can you get rid of the heal? This is hummus. How do you play with your screen flipped? So my brain has kind of gotten used to it since we started doing the screen flip. I almost feel like I could probably play the game after give, giving me just a little bit of time. I could probably play the game with the screen completely flipped. I think if I was given enough time to kind of get used to it, I would 100% get used to it. That's weird, isn't it? It's almost like my brain would just flip it back to normal. It's, it's weird. Need to add the redeem the reverse controls. Yeah, I, uh, the reverse controls, I tried it out. And the problem with reverse controls is it's really hard to convey to you as the viewer that it's even active. <laughs> like, how do I convey that it's active? I can't. <clears throat> So that's the reason why it's hard to like, at least with a flip screen, you, you can see that it's actually flipped because the UI elements stay the same, but the screen gets flipped. So it's not like it's an effect I'm doing on you guys' end with OBS. It's an effect that is actually happening to me. In game. You would love to see someone beat Minecraft with their screen flipped. Yeah, I, I feel like you would be, you could get used to it. Yeah, I really do. All right, I think that's probably enough dark for right now. Never enough, but I think it might be enough for now. I feel like in this pack, we've gotten to a point now where we pretty much have access to anything and everything we we want to make so now it's just a matter of using those things that we now have to make cool things with and potentially make things now better and then to start working on new areas for things or we can we can have steam power and or have a yeah, steam engines powering the entire area and things like that would be pretty cool this is going to be pretty cool once it's all done, you know. Once we have all of this sort of built out and we have all of our andesite. That reminds me. Um, God, since it is so laggy right now. Oh my God, I feel like it's 10 times worse than it was earlier. We probably need to split this in some way. Um... trying to think what's the best way yeah i think putting it onto we can use a polar upgrade polar upgrade probably yeah we'll do a polar upgrade It'd be ridiculous if we had just like a massive multi. Like if we turned this into a massive logistics area that utilized more of the cables for auto crafting and everything. Like I could set up auto crafts for a lot of those things, I think. Um. Hmm. It might be something we also work on in our base. Because I would like to have some basic auto crafting set up. Use a mod called FT or FPS Optimizer and it puts my FPS in all the mods 9 from like 30 FPS to 110 to 115. I I don't know if that's available in 118. I, I added even more optimi optimization mods into this pack that have helped significantly, but it's nothing is going to help this issue. This is a, uh, this is just a issue here. I think I have everything we need. I'll just grab my drawer from here. 
drawer and then basin. So what I should be able to do is this will split even more into this basin. So now we'll have andesite that goes here. And then with the andesite there, I can put a drawer here and have that have a puller upgrade pulling from the down. And that will start to pull in that andesite. Possibly. Yeah. It doesn't need to be forced round robin either. It just needs to be such a round robin. Perfect. Alright, I want to take a look at something real quick that's kind of important. And that is how much stress do we have left to utilize? I think the the dial is wrong. <laughs> I don't think that I don't think it's gauging everything right. Um Okay, so network stress, we have 4000 like 5000 stress units left to work with. Holy create. Oh man, yeah, this is just one area. This is the madness that we've gone through. I actually need to check our redstone hell area. Make sure everything is still flowing smoothly. Oh, it's beautiful. This is getting closer though to running out. Um I just I feel like though there's just something something else going on here. We are not doing something right. I almost... No, I can't put that there of a spout. Hmm. This would be something that would be worth, like, redoing. Eventually. I feel like we should have even more belts and sending even less of the redstone to this. Like, I feel like this should be a, a longer. We should have more divisions happening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. This doesn't even look like anything great either. This looks like random junk everywhere. Ah. Crap. Did I break it? I didn't break it. Okay. Thank God. I wish there was a demagnetizer for this area. Oh, shoot. I did break it. Um, how do I get in there to get that? Uh, Pretty sure this is still working. Yeah, it looks like it's still doing good. Yeah, we have 32. Actually, we probably split this again. Right? One goes there. And then this goes here. No, no, that's radiance. Doesn't the radiance get split? No. Oh, well. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's working. Okay, so yeah, we are still producing. We got 333 of these. I was just making sure that this is all working. And I think even if this, the LPG backs up, there's nothing else backing up here because we are voiding off crude. So this will always continue to run. Okay, so yeah, we are logistified. Everything should be flowing smoothly. Okay, I was just making sure 
my my brain. Oh geez, ever since your fiance found about the power mod, she makes me say power. Because she thinks it's funny. Power. Out the power. Alright. We need to go back to the base real quick. That's what we were working on. I think we have. Did I ever check and make sure this was still functioning properly? I still don't think this is running properly. This is like not working fast enough. Um, let me do some things real quick, chat. Sorry, I know, I know. We're supposed to be building, but a lot of troubleshooting right now. I'll be thinking myself later. I'm just going to go back to a Starbuckle wheel. Actually, let's not do that. We should be able to do everything with a water wheel. Just need to gear ratio this up, I think. Oh shoot. <laughs> chose narc snug, chose narc snug. I love that emote. My wife made those. Soul fright. Thank you, my dude. Look at that. Look at that. Boop. That is a bright skin. All right, let's head down here. I just think this is just too slow. The pump's going too slow. Everything's too slow. Okay. With that in mind, let's just gear ratio. And hope that that works. Maybe even going up just like one. I don't have casings on me. Oh, shoot. She only finds it funny when it's said in a monotone voice. Like when Chosen says, now we got to get into the power mod. Hey, I say it in a monotone? I'm monotone now? Wait, since when am I monotone? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. All right. Merrick, welcome. Wait a minute. All right, now we got to just hope that this is actually going to work. Nope. Uh, maybe two water wheels will work. But it does need to go faster. That I do know. It's where it might be just easier to use Starbuckle wheels, but like, I don't know. Like a normal voice, voice on tired. <laughs> no, you're good. Now we got to get into some more power. I love it though. That mod. So that mod runs into the same problems that a lot of other mods do. Oh, also, I just noticed that that does that on the top. That is such good attention to detail right there. Look, look at that. I just noticed that. That's what Minecraft ladders don't do. Wow. Couple of extra pixel, pixels go a long way.
They do go a long way. Really cool. Yeah. What's not cool, though, is me going up and down these stairs like four times. There we go. Is that going to be faster? It's enough to keep the water filled. Yeah, that's much better. Look at that. Would you look at that? If only we could do something with these. Like, they can't be turned into these crystals, right? No. I really don't know what the... What are sheets? Are these like panes? But yeah, that's running much more effectively. Might have to start using... I think all of the create ladders do this. Listening in from the audio in my car. Oh man, isn't the future amazing? Just please don't don't look at the screen. I don't want that on me. I don't want to, have to think about did Craig make it home because he was listening to my stream while driving. Don't I don't want that on me. Do you need to make another one of those setups to double? Uh, at the moment, that actually runs pretty good. That's for the runes, and at our current speed, it should be able to keep up here. We might need to. See, now it's running in pretty smooth. This is one of the slower things that we have running. Craig wants that subscription to keep renewing. Oh, God. That's really weird when that's said that way. Dang, tech. That's morbid. Man, today's stream has been crazy, has it not? Holy smokes. We've had all kinds of crazy stuff happen today. Oh, shoot. We're on our last knife again. I think we have enough parchment, though, to last us a long time. Problem is, then we'll end up with this looping around. Not being processed. Okay, so this one... Why are there bowls of leaves in here? That shouldn't be allowed to get through the... filter. Yeah, so this is picking back up and is now running like it should. And this will probably back up. Potentially. I don't know. But at least now it's running like way faster than it was a minute ago. Alright, we should have some andesite built up now so we can continue doing our structure stuff. Yeah. I don't know, only 600 andesite. We're getting there, chat, slowly but surely. Okay, so let's see what dark looks like um, next to all of the andesite and stuff like that. <clears throat> I really want to use 
integrated dynamics logs. I just don't know how I want to utilize these to where they'll look really cool. Like also combined with this crystal, which this, this isn't see-through. Those are very close. Now, that dark oak actually looks really good with this. Okay. How about some brick? Some brick looks pretty good with that too. And then some andesite on top of that. Yeah, oxidized copper with this would look fantastic as well. It'll take a long time to get. Um, not if you just place it in and you just let it sit. It'll just turn over time. I always find that kind of crazy. Like, it, it feels kind of weird that, like, those that want it to become oxidized copper, right? They set it all out in this massive farm. But, like, why not just let it happen over time? Like, won't it just happen naturally to your build? You know? Yeah, I thought that was the whole point of it. Yeah, I, th I did too. But I have seen like all these like mega builds that people do and they're like, yeah, we can force it in this pack. We can actually force it to become oxidized with uh, washing. Yeah, there are some, we have all these different cutting there's like the copper sheet blocks for Create Deco. It looks really cool. You actually get four. So for one block, you get four sheets. Those sheets actually look kind of cool. And we have infinite copper, by the way. Interesting. They work kind of like a wall. Close proximity slows the process dramatically. If you want the appearance change in reasonable time frames, you have to age the block separate. Thank God we have create, right? I wonder if these will age. Will copper sheet and metal age? It doesn't look like it has an aged form. Okay, so it probably doesn't. It is just always going to look like this. There's also iron sheeting. Um, so if we want something that's not going to ever change, using this would be a good idea. I think, though, the green is going to look really good. Why does um, copper oxidize, but iron doesn't rust? 
So for iron to rust, um, so the thing with copper, right? Copper oxidizes to air. Um, and I don't believe that rust is formed in the same way. Um, I think rust needs something else. No, it's the same. Oxygen, it will, it requires moisture and oxygen for long periods. It does in this pack. Yeah, it, it does rust in this pack. Yeah, I have noticed iron stuff will rust. Yeah, iron blocks. So they have the different forms in here. It will start to rust. So yeah, there's like immersive weathering. Yeah, it'll start to turn this color. What are those big gray things on the floor? What gray things? The, the only thing gray here is stone, cobble. Are you talking about the item vaults? These are blue. Where's your create B wax? I want things to rust though. I don't want things to look pristine. I really like the idea of the base degrading over time. That seems really sick to me. Does it not? Does that not sound cool? I like that idea. So I'm going with this like sort of theme. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what's some other things we can add into this. I think this is good for now. We're just gonna need to figure out where to incorporate these blocks. Also, we have like an abundant supply of these. Can these be put in the stone cutter? How do these, how do we change these? Four of them. Okay. All right, so crystallized mineral. The block the weird blocky brick texture is a little bit a little bit interesting. Maybe it can be randomized. Like between these? How do these look when they're together though? This is a little weird. These are seamless. These are not. So I guess that makes it's interesting. Crystallized mineral is very weird. It it sounds like wool. I don't like it. You should build like a big factory. Snoot, I should. Is what I'm building not big enough? What in the world? It also looks a little bit lighter. I don't know. Lava plus liquid source makes source stone like a cobble gin, by the way. <laughs> Does it really? You can't you can't see that, can you?
kind of crazy. These building materials are kind of locked behind. This sort of thing. I wish it showed you here. <clears throat> Sorry, I meant source tone. All right, either way. Um, yeah, so far, I like this. So to make this even possible, we've got to get a little bit further into create, but I'm, I'm having a feeling that we're going to actually run out of stress units. Let's see, cobble. Um, we have to do a few things first, so I'm going to need to make an igneous extruder. <clears throat> I need a piston. And then I need a plastic machine. So, to make the plastic machine, we've got to go through a lot of stuff, right? All right, so we got, we need zinc sheets with logs. Um, let's go grab some zinc. We have an abundance of it. I'm glad we automated this stuff. I am Patton past chosen on the back for this one. Time for steam power at the creation station. Potentially, these were designed initially to support steam. That's why I have these circles here. Um, that was my initial idea, but th that idea has changed dramatically since how laggy this area is. I was not expecting that. Now I know <laughs> that this can be pretty darn laggy. Yeah. Um, I just need to download more RAM. Yeah, I don't think the RAM is going to make it any faster. That is... We need zinc, right? Zinc. I like having a roof over this, though. Alt F4 might help. Let me give it a little Alt F4 magic. Ooh! All right. Uh oh, my Alt F4 is not doing what I thought it was going to do. Uh oh. Just in the nick of time. <sighs> Got myself on that one. Whew. That was close. That was a close one. Glad it gave me a warning at least. Got the red wire. <laughs> Somebody's going to be so confused seeing that in a VOD. They're going to be like, is that what F Alt F4 does? Somebody's going to be trying it right now and straight up have just closed their Chrome. <laughs> that slime is, is missing. It, it, it's just being saved. Just ever so slightly, every single chance it gets. This is like an infinite death trap. It's just like this is torture. This is this is literally torture. That slime is being tortured right now. <laughs> it's avoiding. I'm in danger. <laughs> I gotta wait for this is over. <laughs> this is over now to go through the portal. No, I'm afraid it's gonna break my portal here, and that would that would suck, cause it broke the Nether portal. The trip me up did. I guess it places a, a string above my head or something. Okay, so let's make our zinc.
There's our zinc casings. We only need like a few of these for now. And then let's grab some of our plastic. Probably more than enough. It'd be nice to have these like on autocraft. There's eight plastic mechanisms. So we need this to be able to make the vacuumulator, the igneous extruder, the internal component, which I definitely want. I love create so much. Caesar, thank you so much for the four months with the prime. She was coming here to steal my cookies. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, why does it not show up in my inventory? But there it is. That's hilarious. That's a hilarious skin. He's just thinking for the, the prime for four months again. Oh boy, there's my head. Yep. All right. So we need the redstone and a piston. And chat, we this will be the best cobblestone generator. This is OP. The OP generator. Especially with create. I think like having cobble is, is very OP. Um, because we're gonna be able to use this essentially to generate some crazy, crazy numbers. I don't think we have enough stress to operate all of the things that I want to operate, but <clears throat> I think we'll we would need two sets of crushing wheels running at max and then a bunch of fans. Um, and I don't think that we're going to be able to do that with what we currently have. Um, you need to make a graveyard with everyone's head. Oh, dude, it, it, there's so many. We, just got, we got heads everywhere. But honestly, it's just a way for me to say things. I don't even, I don't even feel like that's enough. Some of the support from, like, for example, like Evaporate and like many, many others, Tech. I don't, I don't think there's a thank you big enough that I could ever give to say thank you. And Jim and I, like, I, just, for supporting these streams. All right. I don't think we're going to have enough stress. Um, Because I want to set it up over here. I guess I can go ahead and like lay it out at least. <clears throat> and kind of get the idea of like ultimately what all I want to automate. Let's like wipe this from here. Okay. So from cobble. It's going to start as cobble. We're going to crush it in a crushing wheel down to gravel. We need to keep gravel. But we need to then turn gravel by crushing it into sand, flint, and clay. Then, um, we could split that gravel and produce andesite. And then we could split that gravel and produce flint and iron. Um, right? That's about all we can do here. I don't think andesite has a crush, right? It turns back into cobble. So, uh, but then we can also split off our sand. And we could haunt for soulless sand. And then we can also wash for more clay. And then we could smelt for glass while also needing glass. Um, did I miss flint? So at the end of the day, I think this is everything that we'll get. I missed clay, right? At the end of the day, this is everything we're going to get as a product of having a cobblestone generator. Oh, 
bolus sand can be turned into clay as well. Flint can be crushed into powder flint that can then be turned into gunpowder, but I don't want to do that. And then clay, we need to smelt it into bricks and split it. And we possibly would want to take clay um, and keep it in its raw form, but also turn it into a compressed form as well and turn it into terracotta. <clears throat> but we're going to have a huge like belt line that is going to be split off into a bunch of different stuff. But this will have a ton of stuff automated for us. This looks like uh, a lot like Create Above and Beyond. Because it is. It is like Create Above and Beyond. I think it was definitely inspired by Create Above and Beyond. Why do I not see? There it is. I don't, I thought we could, can we make this? Yeah, we can make this in this way with auto packing. And then we can smelt that into terracotta. In ter this, does this have to be dyed before terracotta? Mm, no, terracotta itself gets dyed. Mm. Probably better off for us to just turn it into terracotta. And then that can be crushed into red sand. And then gives us gold. And dead bushes give us biomass. And biomass... Makes copper spools with festive lights. Be turned into biomass pellets. Which can then be fueled. Alright, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I got a minute. Isn't there an easier way to get red sand? Maybe there's a loop in here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You can make uh, granite. There's actually a granite farm. <clears throat> there's a way you can make granite in this pack. Um, let me look up real quick. Immersive weathering. And I think the immersive weathering has a wiki. And in that wiki... Custom generators. Granite is going to be... <clears throat> so granite is water. Um, contacting flowing lava adjacent to smooth quartz and diorite. Looks like this, Jen. Smooth quartz and diorite with lava. Hmm. Is off for granite, yeah. So that is just one of the many ways, but I, I really want to at least get the glass up and running. <clears throat> I just, we're going to find out if we overstress, but we can always build that out later. So, okay. So let's get, I guess, everything we need. And an idea formed for this. So the end result should be all of these items. It's just how we get to them is the the thing. So do we want cobble to ultimately end up down here? Uh, probably not. I'm fine with not having a cobble here. We can do that somewhere else. So, okay. So let's go make some functional storage. 
So we're getting pretty low on those. That should be enough. Wait, you have six backpacks? Yeah, because this is how big some of them are. Like, and these are these have been upgraded. This they're very limited in this pack. That's why. <clears throat> okay. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, let's go here, and then here. So this should be a, a wall. Oh, I can't do that, can I? gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's gonna be a wall of resources now for the fun part so in the center of this is where the it's going to start right um that's where the cobble is going to happen right and so if we know that then we know that the best route for gravel is probably the center but gravel will need to go in this container Gravel's just going to run straight through and be no problem. You could go with a controller. I could. You're, you're gonna, you'll see what I'm about to do, though, here in a minute. Believe me, it will look good in the end. It will it will work. I've played around with this on our uh, supporter server and I built something very similar to what I'm about to make here. Okay. Gravel sand. Kind of want to have everything in my inventory. It'd be so nice to have glass. Uh, flint, we have it, clay, brick, sorry dad jokes, I let myself out, wait what? Oh, a zombie just subscribed. I get it. Darn zombies always getting in my way. Okay. You have an axe, but you killed a zombie with a backpack. How disrespectful. <laughs> Can never let him win. You can't let him know what your next move is. Okay, so gravel's just going to flow straight through here. But we're also going to split gravel into a couple of other things like sand. So gravel then needs to run through some crushing wheels. Uh, we can do that right here, like right next to it, I think. Well, actually not necessarily right next to it. It needs to be one over. Um, and so this will produce sand directly. So this line will need sand, right? I'm just kind of getting where the fundamental items are that we're going to be producing. Okay, so this line will be sand. Everything else can go just about everywhere else. It can go really anywhere, the way we're going to be sorting all of these things. Now, what else need to crush? Um, I don't think anything else needed crushed, right? No. Okay. 
So now I just kind of have to have an idea. So at least one, if we're going to have a press with a basin in here somewhere, we need to make sure this is at least one, two. So belt here with a funnel, um, space, basin, space, funnel. So we know that this is at least as far as our transition section needs to be. Comes out of there, goes into the basin, has room to be compacted and processed on here. Okay. So this... Um... We then just need to set up how far out we need this belt to run. So we'll have the space here. And then we have the crushing wheels, which will go right here. And then the belt line that's connected <clears throat> here. Looks weird, but should work. All right, and then we just need our crushing wheels here and our belt line right here with our cobble generator. And that should be it. This will go in the ground. We just need to get our materials in there. All right. And I guarantee if we hook up to this, which is running at max speed, this is not going to have the stress available. There's no way. <clears throat> I just don't see it. Why am I just now getting a water bucket? What's going on? All right. But it doesn't need to run at max speed. We should be fine. Does not need to run at max speed. Oh god. Alright. Here we go. We're about to set all of this up. Let's do belts and all of that first. So right here, um, and then that is going to be crushed and needs to go all the way up here. Have some faith, not everybody runs out of stress. We go a pair of crushing wheels. Wonder what happens. Can we do this? We put another pair of crushing wheels on top. Okay, they're using that right there alone is right at our cap. So we would have to have like a couple more water wheels. This is right at our cap of stress. And we have to have a bunch of fans, so we are going to run out of stress unless I lower this way down. That's what's going to be the thing. How long did it take you to actually learn how to use create effectively? <laughs> when did I start playing create above and beyond? <laughs> then um around that uh from that point till now and i'm still learning learning doesn't stop it's it's a lot 
And I don't even know if I could I'm it's fair enough for me to say it's effective. I don't know if that's fair. Right, so that's our sand. Now, when it runs here, so here's the thing, we will have to block this. But we do need a belt. Technically, that is here. Just the way it works, it requires me to have a belt here. And that's where our tunnels will go. Yeah, it creates 100% something that takes a while. Like, it's, it's just like any other mod, though. But it just has a lot more hidden components. <clears throat> There's a million different ways that you can use this mod <clears throat> to solve tasks. Like a million different ways. It's just a lot. It is a lot. <clears throat> okay, so directly after this, this is where we're going to have all of our other belt lines that are going to go all the way through here. They're just going to watch right there. Oh, we could use this speed for now. Yeah, why not? That's only using 120. I just realized that's going to cause a problem, but we could just use it. Why not? It just generates over time, right? It looks like a lot, and, and trust me, it is a lot. I will say this is a lot going on here. All right, we got to figure out, though, before I fully put all these belts in, like I just did, um, we're going to have to set up all of our stations. Some things will get fans, some things won't. We probably want to keep the things that get water on as a fan on here, like on its own thing. These two don't get fans, because they're just consistent. Um, so, you're saying soul sand and then quartz? We have quartz automated, but you you don't actually get soul sand. You get soul less sand, which we're still going to need. But yeah, we have, we have quartz over here. We get quartz from our massive farm. I don't even want to talk about it right now. <laughs> what is going on over there? Okay, so it doesn't matter where we do any of these things from this point because this will filter everything uh, the way it needs to be filtered from this section right here. But we do have to kind of figure things out um, and make sure we space, we're space spacing the fans out correctly. Um, so let me grab all of our fans. Um, oop. I think everything does get a fan. I'm pretty sure everything gets a fan. Right? Yeah. One of these may need to be a double, a compacting drawer. All the fans? Yeah, all the fans.
Trust me, chat. This is going towards building. I swear. <clears throat> I'm so invested at this point. Oh, wait. There's not one there. One there. Okay. So, we know that bricks are going to require heat. We'll see if we can mark these and figure out where to put and sort everything. Okay, so we know glass is going to require heat. Bricks are going to require heat. Terracotta is going to require heat. Um, Nothing else requires heat. So let's do... Terracotta. Let's do bricks. And then let's do... Um, glass? Here? We can do the soulless sand right here, so that way it's next to a campfire. Um, then we have basically just washing, right? Um, and then we need clay balls. Am I missing anything else? Clay. I think I might have overcounted. It's kind of fine because I can actually reduce our count here. We put this into one container, then that's just this whole side gone. Good. But then we're separated from this. This actually saves me a little bit. Okay. Um, so let's go get a compacting drawer. Or a double drawer. No. We need a compacting drawer. Glass doesn't need to go beside sand? No, no, no. None of this has to go beside anything. You're, you'll see, you'll see. This is how logistics with Create can work. It's pretty crazy and honestly very fascinating seeing it work. And I, didn't, I haven't placed down the blocks that make it all work, but it's the funnels or the tunnels. The tunnels make this all work. Okay, so we have our terracotta, brick, and glass. Those are all the things that get smelted. Then we'll have solar sand. Uh, I'm just going to put this in its place for now. Um, solar sand. Then we're going to be producing... We need to wash. Uh, well, also this... Doesn't this get smelted? Okay, 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 yeah. Okay, so we need andesite also. And that can go right here. Andesite goes here. Um, and if andesite goes there... Then we need a, and this would actually make it look a little symmetric, which is honestly not horrible. Let's do, we will do this here. Right, we'll have that going there. So I can go ahead and put it in. Might as well. Okay. Um, I think, though, this needs to be swapped around. So the issue... This actually does pose a little bit of a problem, doesn't it? I, I think it would be fine if we put this here instead. Does it matter? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, we don't need this. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm getting a little bit kind of uh, at odds of myself. Hold on. I'm forgetting how we're splitting things up. So yeah, this does not matter where we put it because anywhere we put it is going to get there eventually on this line. Okay, so gravel goes here. That's fine. That's, that's known. Anything else? So we have sand right here. Um, we have our glass, we have our gravel, 
Now we need a place for flint. And flint... Flint, though, is a problem. Because flint is a byproduct of... Flint is a byproduct of the washing process. Symmetry is such a strange thing. It looks and often works very nice, but can become a tyrant. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it can definitely limit you. Like if you try to build everything symmetrical, I'm not trying to do that here, though. I'm not really worried about doing that here. I'm thinking about how these will actually get into the system. And so this is actually more logistical than thinking of symmetry. Okay. We could do the split over here and we could do something special for the, um, for this. So yeah, I think we could just maybe wash back here. And in that case, we can put the flint there and we can put the iron here. Okay. Um, and I think that's it, right? Sola sand, we can put right here. What are we missing? Clay. We're just missing a place for clay to go. That is literally it. Uh, do I have some sand? I need some sand. I need to make it some soulless sand. Chosen, did you already set up the Nether Star automation in all the mods nine? I've had Nether Stars automated for a long time. I have like, I'm pretty sure I do at this point have enough Nether Stars. The so here's the thing. I didn't, I'm not farming the withers in world. I'm just using a bunch of um, hostile neural networks. I think I have like 10 of them running. And then I also have essence that's been running. So between the essence from mystical agricultures and that I have enough. I have like the hundred something thousand that's needed. 118,000 stars, I think. 18 times, then then something's wrong with the math because I'm pretty sure I mathed it correctly. Because it tells you how many blocks is in the three times compressed. Right? It tells you how many blocks is in there. It, And then I just multiplied that by nine because each of the blocks would have nine stars per block. And I got a hundred something thousand, not six hundred something thousand. If that's the case, it's still just absurd and seems very out of place compared to everything else in the pack to have the nether stars be that much. Um,. Right, nine times nine times nine is 729, right? It'd be nine to the power of three. It's just 729 times nine. And then times 18. That's 118,000. It's six times compressed, isn't it? No, it's three times. The nether stars are three times compressed. You play all the mods nine? Yeah. Look up all the mods nine. 
I'm, you'll find my playlist, most likely. On YouTube, that is. Um, let's see. Or you can just search Chosen Architect on YouTube and you probably find it. You overproduced yours? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you had me worried because I was like, I'm pretty sure I have enough. Because I've I tried my best to do the math correctly this time, but like I could be wrong. Like I, that kind of got me kind of stressed out because I like I'm near the all the mod star making all eighteen of them. I think I just have to make my B. Okay. Um. All right. Let's make soulless sand so we have this labeled. Which one's souling? This is souling, right? Yeah. I've done this automation in so many different ways. I normally would have it just go from a belt to here, but because of the way our shaft runs on this, I had, I did it differently. Oh, interesting. We'll probably have to filter this directly because it did not like the filter that's in there. Okay. There's our soulless sand. Old man! Thank you, by the way, for that Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the crew. Yeet! <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for that. Dude, I love that pack. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, did you try the Source Stone recipe? No. Uh, is that in the... Igneous Extruder? I didn't even look and see what this can produce. Oh, actually has a lot of stuff it produces. Oh, it can produce granite just right away. And we can make these purple sandstone, limestone. It doesn't produce it here, but I think it's in world, right? Is it in world maybe? Is it called Source Stone? The R's? The R's Stone? I don't know. Sorry, phone sucks. Oh, that's understandable. You better not be driving and doing this. You're home. Okay. I'm about to say. Jesus. Ooh, busted. I just, I just don't feel comfortable with like people telling me that they're driving and watching the stream. That's just, it's, I don't want that on me. Sorry. That sounds horrible. Not only for me, but, and, and for you, you and everyone else around you. No, no, you can, you don't need to do that. All right. Um, That is LPG. Okay. Um, or sorry, lubricant. <laughs> I keep lube in my inventory. Look at me. Okay. Uh, this one is clay. This actually doesn't need a fan. 
Is this just clay? Uh, there's sand, and then there's going to be flint. And this is going to require a special setup not happening here. Okay. That should be it. I think. I just need to figure out where that's going to happen. I think right here is probably where it's going to happen. Okay, and then water. And I think that's it. Let's uh, get those fans a spinning. He's actually distracted driving into his home. <laughs> I'm home. I'm in my home. I drove into my home. God, you guys are freaking hilarious. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's maybe put a chain drive. All the way down here. Um, and then like that. And then I'll use a shaft, I think, to just simply get the power maybe migrated over here to the to some chain drives. We need some gearboxes. Oh, I also got to get power to this too. Um, so... where you can change gearboxes. There we go. Wait. I thought you can change gearbox type. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, this is, like I said, I think I could get used to this. Given like enough time, I could probably get used to this. Is that blowing the right way? I have no idea. Uh. Okay. It is pulling down. I was going the wrong way. We'll see if this uh, will change anything going on here, but. Let's see what direction this is sending this. Okay, perfect. It's all going the right way. All right. So now with that in place and we got all of this craziness happening. Now we need to do set up the belts. Um. And then time for funnels. Brass funnels. What do you think so far, chat? Does this look like it's too much? 
Is this too much in one go? Might be too much in one go. I'm overdoing it, Chan. These are all good building materials, though. Beautiful. Thank you. Means a lot. So what we're going to have here is... This is going to split. Uh, and then this is going to split the gravel. And then... Where is this located at? Right here. And then this is going to split the two components that that created. And then we're going to need more tunnels. Knew they were this powerful. They've given me ultimate power and they didn't even realize it. They didn't even realize it. Ultimate power in time. Then we get to filter all of these things. Um, okay. So this gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, so clay makes the bricks. Also, clay makes the terracotta. Clay is also clay. That makes sense. Gravel. Gravel needs to go here. And then uh, it also needs to go through the gravel route. And then gravel also makes the andesite. So the gravel also needs to travel there. Okay. And then the sand. Sand makes glass. So the sand needs to travel through there. Sand, of course, needs to travel through sand. And sand also makes solar sand. Look at that. Then we say, hey, round robin or four split. I think, I think split honestly is the best for this because it's going to try and split all of these things up evenly. Uh, it doesn't have to be four split. It'll split to whatever it can send to. Um, now, on this, we're going to have to say um, we have to make a filter. Right? And this filter is going to be flint and iron. Oh, I have iron over here. It'll be flint and iron nuggets. So those are the things that are allowed to pass through here. Otherwise, they're going to set here and smelt. Nothing's going to go through this, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, on the outside back here, though, we want to say iron nuggets, you go here. Flint, you go here. Okay. That should be done. Now, right here in the middle, I'm just going to put a block because we don't want anything coming out of this. But what we do want coming out of this over here is going to be gravel. This is how we're going to split our gravel as well. That is going to be initially produced from our cobble gin. So that's going to split into gravel. That's going to run through here, turn into sand, and then that gets processed into all its different components. But it also should produce flint. Oh, that's something that we have to worry about, right? Flint. This is where flint's going to go. Flint's going to go here. Because we're going to also be producing flint. Uh, that means I also need that filter in this slot, too. Actually, no, this just needs to be flint. Actually, it doesn't need to be anything. Okay. I think we just logistic logisticified this whole thing. Now the problem is, is we don't have the ability to automatically export directly to this, but, but let me grab my buckets because I'm a, I'm a derp. Um, let me move this thing. Do not going to go in the belt, isn't it? Do not... I'm going to break the crush. I'm going to prop these off. If it goes on the belt, it will delete the items. <laughs> it would delete the Ignis Extruder. 
And I really don't want that happening right now. Okay. Um, and then now what we can do is set up our like reservoir around this thing. I mean, we could put it on top or bottom, right? I think we could just put it right here. Oh, shoot. Put it in the wrong spot again. Wish this had just internal inventories where you didn't need the physical thing in the world. I think that's how the old Igneous Extruder used to be. Okay, uh, crushing wheels. Let's put those pair of giants on here. Uh, and then we need a brass funnel. Uh, we need a brass funnels on a bunch of stuff. So it looks like we're going back and getting some more brass funnels. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah, I think for this, we can just set up individual filters for everything. Uh, that seems like probably one of the best things to do. We can just go, hey, only give us the items that we actually need. So, for example, this will be terracotta. Only give me terracotta. This will be only bricks. Well, actually, I guess it filters itself, doesn't it? I don't even need to do this. That filters itself. It can't, it won't allow it in anyways. Um, all right, we do need to get our basin set up here. And press. I'm out of presses. Oof. Where Vault Hunters has ruined me with spelling and a site correctly in mod packs. Dang it. Why must you do this, Iskel? chain drives. Hopefully this isn't overstressed. What if this is the thing that just tips everything on its side? Oh, please no. Please don't do that. I kind of want to get a speed controller on this. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if the um, container of lava getting blasted by the heat from the lava fan was destroyed for no obvious reason? Uh, no. That wouldn't be... That wouldn't be funny at all. Uh, no. 
All right, we need clay. Uh, I don't think I have to set the recipe. This should just automatically know what it's doing. <clears throat> I think. Oh, goodness. Um, Hashilma, welcome. I hope I, I know I completely butchered that. <laughs> welcome. I love a little planet head. Man. Is it Has Hasilma? I know I'm, I'm not saying that correctly, probably. Forgive me. Try my best. Hashi Llama. Okay, Hashi Llama is better. I like that one. Much better than how I was saying it. Okay, I think this is ready. Just set this to 16. And then possibly putting a speed ro uh, speed rotational speed controller on here. That probably would be nice. That would probably be good. Um, how are we getting stress from this? Like we are tapped into this, but we could use a rotational speed controller. The basin does need a funnel. You are correct. They're getting split. Interesting enough, though, it didn't split. It didn't like round robin split. It just split the eight. And I guess it couldn't decide evenly to split. Maybe round robin is better. I don't know. That split. There it goes. Look at that, though. Oh, this is like, it's so satisfying. Which step produces andesite? This gravel. Gravel smelted produces andesite. And then because of the way these containers work, we have to initialize the iron going in. This will definitely be a far cry. Like we'd have to, we'd have to have this thing running at full speed to really make this like amazing. Um, <clears throat> well, I kind of want to pump any extra rotation we can out of this. Okay. Enderman yoinked? I hope that's not what happened. What if it's just all gone now? Fingers crossed. It's not. If 
if the Enderman yanked all your storage. I just think it was a it just bugged out. Just something something in the code was like, nah. You're good. Reload sometimes good. Alright. Um We're gonna have to check this production over here just to make sure it has it stopped. Looks like it's running. Two. And three. No, there are only two vials right now. I think. Yeah. There's only two vials right now. I don't know. All right. What do we, what should we do here? Um, me breaking this stops everything. Just so we know. <clears throat> maybe what I, maybe what I could do is I can't get it from here. I don't want to get the power from here. I need to get the power from somewhere else. For example, right here would be fine. Actually, this would be kind of perfect. It connected here. Get a large cog. Large, I said. What's wrong with you, Chosen? Okay. Uh, and then I can bring this down with a gearbox. Or a chain drive. Chain drive probably would be better. Actually, chain drive not better. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Nope, don't do that. Um, hold on. Let's reverse this rotation. There we go. That's, that's better. Um, and then I just need to send that to this. If we dual gearbox this, it will probably fix our rotation. Actually. Yeah, if we dual gearbox. Your box here. Your box here. That should be the correct rotation. Oop, you thought you were already following. What? You weren't following? That's blowing the ops away. Okay, nope, never mind. Now it's blowing the right way. Now we can rotational speed control this bad boy up, I think. Actually, 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 actually. Uh, this probably shouldn't be on the power here. So, I just need to speed up the crushing wheels. So it's this that actually needs to get down here. Um, 
Um, can I do that through this? That is pulling. onto your YouTube channel when I was playing Skies. Well, welcome. How are you flying? A part, uh, is it a part of the crate mod? It is not. We are using a magical feather, which is from the magic feather mod, which requires me to be in proximity to a beacon. So now we can kind of see where is our cut off work all right look at that <clears throat> look at that chin Okay, I don't know why that decided to go back into itself, but that should be fixed. That was, I think, a mistake whenever we reversed our belt line. That setup does give me old movie mall room vibes. Is it because of the color scheme with the brass and stuff? The way the color looks? That would make sense. Aren't we able to, like, specify? Nah, these should be fine. It'd be better if we were batching these in some way. <coughs> Do you dye belts? Yes, you can. And I personally like the, uh, the like rusty look of the belt. Like for example, putting br a brown dye on it makes it look rusty. I like it. Oh, there's our terracotta. Yeah, no, this should be. Yeah, it's because it, uh, Oop. Because it it got it got pulled out of the filter, unfortunately. I need to lock all of these. Do I have my lock? I do. Okay, that should be locked, locked, locked. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Correct. Correct and correct. All right, now everything's locked. And this just over time is just going to produce materials. So keep in mind when this does back up, um, this is where we're going to have a little bit of a problem. This will back up if these are not voiding. So we will have to have void upgrades on all of these. And I don't think we can lock. I don't think we can lock certain inputs. Can these be locked specifically? I've never tried that, actually. Now, that would be sick. I don't think that's the case. No. Only the tunnels can be... Or funnels can be locked. Yeah, that would be the main input line anyways. That would break everything. You 
can set them a stack at a time. These, unfortunately, I don't think they... These cannot be changed. Can you put a funnel after a tunnel? I... You know, I don't know. I don't actually know how that works. I mean, the main things that definitely need to be... Vo I mean, all of these need voids on them. They will all, over time, build up. Um... <clears throat> now, if I set them all to round robin, they would all evenly fill up. It would fill slower, but they would all all evenly fill up. And round robin might batch better. I think round robin might be the better option here. Because round robin is what it's going to do is it's going to send the batches. And it's going to go, okay, well, I sent sand here. Well, next time I'm going to send sand here. Then I'm going to send the stack of sand here. Then I'm going to send the stack of sand here. Here, 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 here. At least it should. Doesn't really look like it's doing that, does it? We can force round robin. There it goes. There it went. I wonder if it's just round robining the entirety of the outputs and not necessarily the filtered outputs. I think round robin might be the better option because eventually so uh, we just can't have sand and we cannot have the gravel those have to be voided those are the only two everything else can sort of build up with round robin i think if if so if gravel stops then the whole thing stops so those are the two that definitely need voids right now uh, and all of this is going to be running anyways max so i'm not honestly shouldn't be worried about it But I'm going to make sure those two things have those on them. Because all of this is just coming from one cobblestone generator. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe a buffer in the middle of the be belts. I Unfortunately, I don't think I have the room to do that. I don't have the room. Like if this clay line builds up, then that means it's going to send clay everywhere else here. If this clay line builds up, it's going to send clay all the way here. This will take all the clay input. Flint. <sighs> yeah, we just need to get storage upgrades on like the majority of all these things. <clears throat> like at least at least a copper how many how many are there one let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like ten ten things we need like a copper you like a copper upgrade on at least all of these
that'll bump it up to like 16,000, I think. That's a lot. How long has he been playing this pack? Uh, 20 streams worth. Yeah, that's 16,000 of all of these blocks. I think that'll last us a while. <clears throat> you know, though, before we know it, we're going to blink and, like, this is going to be, like, filled up to the brim. It is something to think about. Like, we're going to blink and, like, all of these resources are going to be, like, filled. It's crazy. All right. <clears throat> well, that is cobble production and producing just about everything we can from cobble. I mean, is there like crusher? I didn't actually look. What else can the crusher like really make? So from ice, it can make the magical ice. It can make amethyst shards. Apparently, that's how you make the... It makes... One of these arcing crystal obelisks make 50 of the dust specks. That's the thing we're going to have to do in the next chapter. Netherrack, which we can't make. Right? We can't make because they added the recipe that's just like weird. The fact that you need nether brick for this and then ancient plating slabs. What do you need nether egg for? Just making blaze cakes. That turns into red sand, so red rock. So far, it looks like we're doing good. Brimstone. What's brimstone used for? Yellow nether brick. Makes sense. There's like 200 recipes. But this is honestly the way... <laughs> The fine stuff. It's kind of crazy that this is the way to find some, but it is. Obsidian makes obsidian powder. Moss. From cork. Um, this looks like a fun time for netherrack making, right? We don't have all the resources yet. Damaged. Damaged A PCB part, damaged B PCB part, C, D, E, F, G. I don't even want to look what these are used for. Son of a gun. Is this the component crafting that's supposed to be the equivalent to the math that you had to do in Create Above and Beyond? I love how, though, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is the piano scale. I don't know if that was meant to be that way, but. Yeah, we're going to. Oh, calcite can turn into bone mill. Oh. That's something to keep in mind, because we can actually generate calcite. Hotkeys for going through recipes. Uh, you hit R to see how to craft a recipe, or how to craft an item. And you hit U to see how it's used. I have a whole video on YouTube. If you look up JEI, Chosen Architect, you will find 
a entire video where I go through all the tips and tricks for getting through JEI, which will help you dramatically. Recommend checking it out if you haven't already. That video is probably going to be timeless. Because it just that's just how JEI has been and will probably forever be. Yeah, and backspace uh, allows you to go back. Yeah, just like text said in chat. Backspace to go back. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love that. Okay, I, I that's funny. Was that how the singularities were in Create Above and Beyond? I feel like it was something similar. I don't remember how I got singularities in that pack. But it was similar to this. I still think that's funny, though. <clears throat> Wait, this, no, you get a less out of that, don't you? Turn into stairs, but slabs? No. So yeah, it seems like this is like the only odd and in thing that we can get. Like, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else to really crush that I noticed. I mean, Yeah. Evaporate. I thought I'm seeing I mean, I may see it later. To fall into chosen's hands. Hey, chosen hey, overslept. Chosen, what, have miss? what have I missed? You've missed us coming up with a block palette, kind of. This is still a work in progress. Figuring out like what blocks look good together. Kind of waiting for that to turn fully. Um. But yeah, and we uh we automated a bunch of blocks and started our process of building. So, that is currently what we're we've been working on. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go back. Um, now that we got that kind of figured out. This is what I, this is what we just did. So essentially we have our cobblestone generator producing cobble and then that gets sent out, gets crushed, gets split. And then one side gets turned into sand while the other gets sent into gravel and then the gravel gets split into its own places to make all of these resources. So technically everything you see here is is essentially coming from just regular cobblestone. Everything right here is coming from cobblestone and is effectively automated. That's magic. It is magic. And it, it's very simple to put this together. Like, this does not really take up that much space, honestly. I've built bigger redstone machines in vanilla Minecraft than this thing. So. I want to do void. So the only thing that I have voiding right now is on the gravel. So if the gravel fills up, Gravel will then, this will round robin everything, because I have it set to round robin right now. It should round robin, uh, and it will let this back up, and then it'll send to everything else that can take gravel um, and sand. If, if, like, gravel backs up, then it will actually increase the production of sand items. So in reality, if these was, if this was to ever back up, then that would be a problem. But I only need to, I only need to technically, uh, void, um, the gravel and the sand from this setup. Because in reality, this setup right here with it round robining will just, if anything else backs up, it will just funnel all the gravel to here and all the sand to here. Because that's, that's the only thing that's we're producing is just sand and gravel. Pretty slick system. I feel like this is like very fundamental though. There's no way this is like revolutionary or anything. This is just, I feel like this is pretty normal it, for somebody who is playing with create to build. 
It's just figuring out what all comes from cobble. And then going from there, I guess. Now, there is... You can go even further with this. You could technically take this terracotta and revert it back into... Um, I think the terracotta gets crushed back into red sand. And then the red sand gets washed. And then that red sand wash uh, turns into dead bushes and gold nuggets on top of it. So you could put like a split here. Another one of these tunnels that like splits. But yeah, that's another another time I'm not worried about that we have gold here I think too much gold honestly all right back to figuring this out right okay so our ceiling what we're gonna need to figure out soon So I needed glass. So thankfully we have glass being produced. Um, oh, I was going to take a look um, at that biome, right? And the, the roof. I want to get an idea of how I want to set up that like glass. So let's go collect some blocks real quick. Let me grab these out of here. I don't know if there's anything we can craft further out of the stuff we're about to go check out. But worth a shot. Take a look at it at least. Uh, Abacus can come in here. Okay. I mean, that was a part of today. Like, I wanted to build and everything else as well. Also, Ender, uh, Endercraft with the, uh, 10 stream streak. Welcome back. Good to have you back. Um, so yeah, something for, like, the roof, potentially. Uh, or, or anywhere else. I, it, we could use this anywhere else, technically. Let's head over here. And there was Black Ice Village. Yes, yes, yes. So, this area. Look at this. This was, is what I was thinking. Potentially using this in some way. So there's packed black ice and there's black ice. I wonder if like, does this turn into water? That answers my question. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we can't use this. Um, darn. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? It just starts melting in our base. I thought it might have been a cool looking block. Yeah, because that's a that's a neat like Act black ice is a thing, but look, it's not transparent. It's solid. I 
How do people learn how to play create? It's like learning redstone in vanilla. Well, in a way, yeah. In a way, yeah. Um, the cool part about create though, is there's tons of videos on it. People love to make videos on it. There's also this amazing guide. You just hold W and you get to see it actually happening, which is so good. Right? Like, and that's amazing. You don't get that out of a lot of mods. You wonder if it still melts when applied to copycat panels? Yeah, but will those lag over a period of time? It won't melt if they're on copycat. That's if they can go on copycat. I don't know. Some things may not be allowed. I'll bring some home with me. I don't know. I thought this biome was kind of interesting. Uh, maybe we can fly around and see if we find any other kind of interesting biomes nearby. Ooh, here's one of these things. I think this was the whole thing we were act actually after then. Bro was trailing me. Oh, there's more ice. All right. So, um, I guess the things I figured out, right, is black ice. You know, I will say, I will say the, this looks like a, like the actual pact looks kind of like a tar mat. Like it does actually look like a, like a roof material. Kind of. Maybe it'd be a, a good thing mixed with some other roof-like materials to give the roof a little bit of variation. Grab some of them. Hey, skating on thin ice there, buddy. Where did he go? I mean, chipped is here. You can make some cool looking glass. I don't think this has chip compatibility now. Does not. There's a random igloo here. Oh, this is a failed one. You and I tell you what, um, between like when I played um all the mods eight and whenever I played um Chosen's Modded Adventure. A lot of people, for some reason, at least the, the people that commented it seemed like the most, for some reason just gave so much hate towards R, saying that it was just so powerful and like, it's just ridiculous, makes the game not fun. Stuff like that. Not, it's crazy to, to think. Some people love it, some people really hate it for some reason. I guess that's with everything though, right? Vanilla players? I don't even know if it's vanilla players. I don't know. There are some people that really don't like things like this that um, feels like magic's coming from nowhere. Like it feels like you're getting something at the cost of nothing. 
If it's not fun, don't use it. But I think they were mad because I went through my playthrough using it. And so that was the problem, right? Because a lot of people like to follow along. Yeah, I know. And so in my, in my, all the mods nine playthrough, I tried my best to like kind of go easy on it and not really use it and show that you don't have to use it to get through packs. I would do the all the mods star and I probably used it the bare minimum. That was needed to use use it. I did use it, but I used it at the bare minimum, right? But that was something I noticed over the last couple of packs I've played. And there's actually a lot of mods that are like that. Um, there's a lot of mods that I've noticed that some people really love watching. And there's a lot of mods that people really don't like watching. And, I, and I'm meaning the mods, not the mod packs, the mods themselves. Haters gonna hate. Yep. But views, views show more than just haters. I think views show interest. And you can really gauge interest like that. With some mods. Especially later on in series can really see what people want to click on. And it could be my end to making bad thumbnails possibly. And the engagement not being there because of thumbnails. It's really hard to know. Would you ever play a stone block? Uh, I've played stone block two. I've played stone block one. I've played stone block three. Stone Block 2 I played like three or four times. Not on, not all of them on the YouTube channel, but I have played them all. I like I even streamed that one early on in beta. <clears throat> we got pretty far through that pack. The masses also voted for the armadillo. I know, Greg. It's oh yeah, that's true. We can't trust them all, can we? Oh. It was a, it was a slight majority though. Come on. They just barely won. Let's, and they, it was, it was rigged. We all know it's rigged, right? Unfocused. Started up Unfocused the helicopter at, 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 to give chosen 500 biddies. The salt hoard comes. <laughs> Thank you. What with the salt hoard? Thank you for the 500 bits, my dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Double whammy. Oh, no. Yeah, that is true. What of Avery says. He would nah, he wouldn't play a stone block. He'd, he'd play them all. He'd play all the stone blocks. Of course I would. They're really good packs. I will. Uh oh, what did I just toss? Uh, my book. Um, I will say though that I, I do still enjoy stone block two over stone block three. And that's because in stone block two, there was no create. And that may sound weird. That may sound weird, right? But in stone block three, create was implemented in a way that you had to, well, it was implemented so you had to use it to create your refined storage and applied energistic circuits for getting into those two mods. Um, and that does make it a little bit harder to make those circuits and to automate them. So where that wasn't a, that mod didn't exist in, in Stoneblock. Um, Stoneblock also, has, Stoneblock 2 also has extra utilities too, which is to this day, still one of my favorite mods, simply because of the ability for you to have two blocks sandwiched together <clears throat> and for you to be able to place, even if they're not compatible, you to be able to, in between the two blocks, place a way that could send the items to the next machine uh, and the machines both be tucked together. That was nice. You could make the flat transfer nodes. Those are phenomenal. Actually, let's go grab some. Uh... I need to figure out exactly where I want to use these logs, but I know the dark oak logs I kind of want to embed into the, the build here somehow.
Why is there a hole in the middle of the floor? Wait, what do you mean a hole? What hole? This hole? It's an a-hole. Sorry, that was a horrible joke. <laughs> That's so dumb. It's just a hole. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Don't mind it. Okay. Uh, beams, 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 beams. What if we have... Beams that run through here. Chat, what you're hearing right now, the guy soloing, I'll never forget learning to solo in jazz band. What you hear this person doing may sound like gibberish, but believe me, what's going on in that person's head is definitely not gibberish. That dude is mathing like a madman. Straight up doing so much math, so many calculations. What's my next note that's going to be in the key that, that we're about to transition to? And what's its uh, relatives? Uh, There's just so much, so much going on in it. So much. What patterns am I going to play? It's all math. Okay. Um. So those are going to be the, the, the beams, the strut beams. Now I need to figure out, is this the outer? Band or the inner band? I'm going to say this is the inner band. And we're probably going to have to add something to the outside of this. And that might be the mineral that we use. If they can't, if they change the key from C to D, would you say to me, just a minor thing? I mean, if you said that in the key of C, we went from E to E flat, then that would be a minor thing. Trying to think what I need to do. Play trumpet for six months and I figured out. Couldn't remember. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Vlog for. Welcome. That was a that was a quick, quick kill. Look at those create goggles built in. You got them built into your. That's not fair. I want built in goggles. All right. I feel like I should wrap this. This seems to be wrapped in like a material. Like maybe. Maybe this gets wrapped in copper? You think maybe we should like wrap this in copper like this? changed the E to an E flat in the key of C that would be a minor thing hey yeah that one's right that's a lot longer to say though
Oops, sorry, chat. Love the stims. Love the stims. Oh, goodness. Thank you. <laughs> and it's a J. Thank you. I know I said that wrong again. I'm sorry. Thank you for the three months. Ah. Every time I see that, I just think Pokemon. I think Pokemon. Love the stims? Streams. Streams, right? No, the stims. They might be a stoner who likes stims. We don't discriminate in 2024. Jesus. I mean, it's really hard. Like you, I remember growing up, right? And if you used marijuana, right? You were a stoner. Like I remember my parents all the time. Like, oh, he's a pothead. That's a, that's a pothead. That was used all the time. What people would say. Now that you could just buy it in the drive through here, everyone's a pothead. So now it has no meaning anymore. Like now it's just, now you're just like everyone else. Kind of sad, actually. Feel bad for those guys. It is what it is. The funny thing is our parents were the hippies back in the day. Yeah, I, I, I've, and now that I'm an adult, I've learned so much about like my parents, my uncles, like all of them, how they kind of lived their life. Very interesting. Probably did worse stuff than we ever did. That's probably very true. Yep. Now I'm going to always see. I'm just going to look over here and be Pokemon. Even though I've been playing Pal World, so you'd think that I would just have Pal World on my brain, but. Oh, lag. Oh, I have Twitch chat open again. I wonder why it was so laggy. Look at the frame rate jump from 15 to 45 just from closing down the twitch dashboard what is wrong what is going on with that that sounds it that's insane just having the twitch dashboard open drops my frame rate so much oh i can't have this here can i that's gonna shut that down oh that's a bummer oh well we'll make it look different on the other side not that big of a deal I wonder why i didn't put them there Wait, what? Seriously? Yes. Yes. Look, watch. Watch. I'm going to open up the Twitch dashboard in Chrome. You ready? I'm opening it right now. Look at the frames. Watch the frame rate. All right. Now it's like 25, 24, 23, right? 22, 21, 20. When I, watch me, I'm going to close it. 19. I'm going to close the dashboard. All right. It just, I just closed it. I don't think it makes as big of a difference in this area, but we are back up to 30 FPS and climbing. You've noticed that too on your slower laptop? Yeah, it's the Twitch dashboard. Is, something's up with that. I don't know what is up with that, but something's up with it.
got the bark. What is this used for? Mulch? Um, it's from immersive weathering. Is that going to be placed on stuff? Can you can we place the bark back on the wood? Oh god. Of course you can. Just as I suspected. That's just barking mad, oh yeah? Now we're getting to the puns. See, I was thinking of like that being like a rail. Um, as far as the glass goes, <clears throat> we are producing quite a bit of glass. And I think this is where the stone cutter is really going to come into play. Um, now this upper band is going to be glass, but... This is where I'm I'm debating on having more dark beams that run through here and divide this up even more. Maybe like for example right here, this center piece. So thoughts on this so far yeah chat over there going like chosen's never gonna finish this build why why do i care Because it never finishes builds, yeah. I don't know, never finish this. Why should I concern myself with such things? He's adding a roof, let's be proud. Hey, I normally do build roofs. I normally do build roofs. I'm not one of... I'm not one of those who doesn't build a roof, to be fair. Chosen is more likely to finish this build and start a new one before not finishing the pack. Yeah. I missed a spot. All I know is you have way too many materials if you are using them as building blocks. Yeah. What do you mean? At l you have way too many materials if you are using them as building blocks. Oh, oh, I get, I get it. I, I just had to like r range it in my head because that could be, that could be expressed so many different ways. Okay, you know you have too many. Yeah, you know you have too many, or too much material when you're using them as building blocks. There we go. Now my brain, my brain got it. <laughs> had to, had to stop for a moment and had to think about that one. We gotta figure this out. Need my magnet on.
feel like this could be my introduction into that bloom material, but... Like we'll get that incorporated in here somehow. Nothing more relaxing than smoking and building in Minecraft. Could spend days building things. It's good. Not the smoking part, but <laughs> the building. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Smoking meats? Now meat smoking meats is a different story. That's some good that's a good kind of smoking right there. Do I surround these with the blue material? I think that's what I might do. I'm I'm talking to myself, chat. Sorry. I do this I do some weird things. Talking to myself is definitely one of those weird things I do. Especially when I stream. I, I'm like I'm like, chat, why are you even here? I'm answering my own questions. God. I'm clueless. Don't ask me for suggestions in Minecraft. <laughs> That's what chat's like. Chat's like, I am I come to you for the solutions. What are you asking me for? I'm like, jeez. Sometimes I need help, chat. Sometimes. Need a little help. A little help, chat. Need a little help. So if I put this on... Hmm... If I send this all the way down like this. And if I put that on the outside, right? That means that this side also gets it. So, I think my big concern here is, um, am I going to have, is the, is the schematic cannon going to be able to, to, to place, paste this in? I, I'll have to, before I do the copy, I'll have to make sure to unexpose all the copper, but That's fine, that's just shearing it. I swear, this is not my channel colors or anything. No, I wouldn't use those. Welcome to the train station. Uh, we still haven't gotten glass put in here, but I'm thinking andesite. We could do like an andesite thing right here.
many did I go over? That's, um, three. One, two, three. Right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then that. will be a giant, like, sort of window that gets framed out. Hey, do you have any idea why my trains don't align when parked? They always are off a half a block and don't connect to the interfaces. When you find a solution to that, let me know, because I have no clue. Um, I think I know what bogeys are you using. Well, we, we had an idea that potentially this was caused by using the alternative bogeys. <clears throat> so I on this particular train, I have this issue where I'm using the single bogeys where I've changed the look of it. And this one is exactly misaligned perfectly. <clears throat> so the way I've solved this is by just having two connectors, two interfaces to make sure that it does that. So if you use the non-standard bogeys, this will probably happen. Like at least as your main train, because you could probably use them as your carts but at least for the main train, it causes issues. Like even this one, uh, because it's connected to this main train, like it it ruins it. It doesn't work. It's awful. Yeah. So I wouldn't even recommend use it. Trying to use the other bogies. Thank you. I'll try to fix your bogies. Yeah. Just break the bogey, and then. Just replace it down as a regular one. That might fix it. I haven't tried to do it yet. I ain't spent the time. <clears throat> but I will. Probably. Maybe. Don't quote me on that chat. Okay. Um... You spent forever last night trying to fix your trains because of that? Oh my god. It's good to know, though. You just unlocked chapter 16 and you're sad you have to destroy your PCBs. Yeah, I just seen the PCBs go to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then you have to recombine them into different ways. Get used to doing this, because that's probably what you're going to have to do. You're probably going to need to do something like this that I just set up. But use it for PCB sorting. Yeah. All right. Um. So glass. Now, here's the thing. Do I want to just put glass directly in, or should I just do the logs? Because I want to include all these materials. I like the idea of having these materials. I was thinking, like, right here. Oops. I need to use create, or use quirk. Hit K. Hit K. This is magic, isn't it, chat?
That's some magic right there. I mean, this is also something that'd be fantastic for maybe someone who's disabled and maybe has lack of, uh, like doesn't have the ability to maybe, um, use their WASDs typical, like a normal, uh, person would be able to, So this would be fantastic for them. This is a accessibility feature. 100%. But also great for builders, too. Like, because for some people, doing this, holding down shift, using your WASDs to move around, and then lining it up and right clicking. Now, just imagine if you had to use your mouth, for example, to control your character and doing all of that. Jeez. When I was in, um, when I took my college classes, um, one of my, uh, IT classes I had, we had to come up with, um, some sort of solution to a problem, right? And we had to use a makey makey to do that. And so what I did was I ended up using the makey makey, which is like a little Arduino board, little, uh, breadboard to basically take in inputs and it allows you to, to send inputs into a computer based on electrical signals. And so what we ended up doing was we made um, a giant controller that made it really accessible because my uh, sister um, at the time, um, she had cerebral palsy. And so with her hands curled up like this, she couldn't really like, she couldn't use her hands for like anything functional, like a regular controller. So we come up with the idea of putting like big buttons on it. And it was really cool. A really cool little thing. Accessibility stuff's important. I think why can't they play video games? Any servers I can join for modded? Um, I'm bored. <laughs> Want to play Minecraft? Well, we do have supporter servers. I have supporter servers. Actually, several modded servers that are currently up. Um, but they are for Twitch subs, Twitch Prime subs, or what have you, supporters of the channel. As far as, like, knowing other servers, I, I have no idea. You can check maybe the, um, like, in my Discord, People post, um, there's a self-promotion channel. People post stuff in there all the time. So definitely check out. There's also a looking for a friend channel where you can maybe find somebody to play with server wise. There's a lot of options. I don't know if we should, I, I really want to strip these. Cause I think that's where these shine. These logs shine whenever they're stripped. Just like... I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Could have. Could have. Thought about it. You're thinking about it now, too. But I didn't say it. Didn't say it, chat. Alright. Uh, Lucas, welcome in. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is turning out pretty good. We haven't even put the glass in yet. Star Gemini 13. Oh god. Join the hype train chugga chugga. Woo -woo. Star Gemini. And burn 500 to bitties to keep they it going. The first volume of my book series was gonna be delivered today. But uh -oh. guess what came? Volume 2 uh -oh. so now I have to wait even longer. Gross. That sucks. That sucks. My uh, my wife had ordered books. She she like subscribed to this like book service, and they took her money, everything, right? And then they were like, "Oh yeah, we're on back order now." And so, it took a whole year, basically, for her to get her first box in. Yeah. That imagine that on top of that what pain i mean at that point after a year are you do you even want the thing that like you ordered at that point like like do you even want it anymore probably not one year that's insane yeah and and she asked like just get a refund they're like no You would have been mad if that happened. Yeah. And like, what are you, what can you do though? Like you can't even, you can't fight that. Like what? But also just leaving it is nice. Wait, what? Oh, it was a totally different discussion. <laughs> I was like, what am I reading in chat? What's going on right now? Dispute the charges. Yeah. Well, at least we'll have a roof. Right? Right, chat? At least we'll have a roof. Oh, God. Streamer doesn't use create to strip log zero out of 10. Yeah, I just don't want to do that. Honestly, I'd have to create another stripping solution, which, yeah, don't get me wrong, is not hard, but I could just remove my pokey pokey, I think, because I think that if I put it in here to strip, it's just going to hang up because this is here. But do that, then we just get stripped logs. It's like, eh. This isn't too bad. To do. Okay. Um. I guess we can start making some glass, possibly. I think we got enough glass built up. Hold on. Create has some really pretty glass. I just want to find it. Um, uh, the, what do they call this stuff right here? Window. It has these windows. Dark oak windows. So it's the glass... Hmm. Two beautiful pickaxes, but an ugly axe. Yeah, I never, I didn't make the, uh, I have the axe. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Rick Axley. Yeah. I just, I should be using this. <laughs> actually, I, I didn't test. Does this actually vein mine? No. Yeah, no. Bad. But I think this actually does this 
Like, it strips multiple locks. Could have just used that. Why not? What the heck? That's a great name for an axe. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> That's good. Good. I'm glad you guys get my humor. I love it. I love it. Love that chat understands me. Understands me. I really don't know what glass we should be using for this. I feel like the majority of this roof should be with this kind of glass. Like, I feel like the majority of the roof should be this. But, sections like this... ...shouldn't. They should be set up like this. I mean, if you like that name, my Tom and Jerry pickaxes, they're pretty good too. And then also, Joe. Dirt. Or Joe Mama. It just really depends on what, what you want to think of it as. Joe Dirt is honestly what it, what it is. put those in there probably mm. oh goodness Kobe K Kobe thank you by the way for that prime gaming sub welcome to the crew thank you for using that on me appreciate you my dude as I immediately throw your head off the uh the island here sorry about that not personal bro thank you though This needs something. This needs uh, some spice. Holy smokes. It takes a long time. You know what? Poop. I have a way to solve this. Extract. Instant. Chosen Corp. Should totally put something in here. Hmm. Hey, Chosen, I've been loving your All the Mods 9 series on YouTube, and I thought I would try and come to a stream and show some love. Thank you for the great vid. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. And welcome. And thank you for the support. I appreciate that. I really do. I wasn't being trolly or anything. I do appreciate that. I mean, I was being trolly, but not in a disrespectful way. Um, You know what we could do? Cyan glass would fit better with the mineral. Does it integrated have glass? It does, but it is kind of a pain to make. We could just do a random design because from the outside, this looks a little weird. 
just a dude that plays, man. Thank you for the two months with the Prime Gaming as well. Evaporate. Dabbed causing 1,000 bits to fall into Chosen's hands. Now we're in trouble. I unfortunately have to go to the store and I oh, don't no. want to be back later. Oh no. I may or may not be live. I don't know. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. I do appreciate that. I may or may not be. Maybe it won't. All depends. As we start to figure this out. Oh god, we started a hype train. My my bot must be disconnected because I did not hear the hype train notification. Oh goodness. Thank you for that, by the way. Star Gemini 13 just gave out five subs. Star, thank you for the five give subs. Oh boy, there's the hype train. Yeah, the hype trains are rolling right now. <laughs> Look at all the parties going on. Oh god. No train sounds. That's the best part, though, is the train sounds. We should totally have a hype train train sound. But we just <laughs> we just get on a train. Oh, geez, that would be hilarious, actually. If you're not live on Kitchen Hit Stream, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Appreciate you, by the way. Let's see. I do want to do. I want to incorporate brick into this, but man. It's going to take a while to set up and the brick is just takes a long time. Thomas, the tank engine theme. We usually have like, it sounds like an actual train rolling through. Typically. Star, thank you. Hi, Chosen. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you for the tier one for eight months. Welcome back. Oh, God. Oop. I'm, I'm having a hard time with this glass window. Mm-mm-mm. You know what? I could just go ahead and what we could do is instead of that, instead of the glass being here that we're using, we put this glass in here. Right, we put that glass in there. Possibly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a little bit better. Dude, technology, welcome back. Welcome. Saying choo-choo with the 200 bits. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll need to set up some. That'd be funny to have like a train that we hop on during a hype train, and we just ride it, and it it rides us through all of our builds. It just like takes us on a train ride through everything. It 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 can make its way through all the stations. And it just, it will just go to the stations, but it'll, it will just, uh, what is it called? Travel through them. Oh, good. We can change these back. Just not back to normal glass. So for these, maybe we'll use this or, oh, you know what? I bet this horizontal framed glass might actually look really good in this build. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Yeah, I think that is going to look good. Looks pretty good. Uh-oh. Wait. It doesn't have a bottom texture? 
Varg for just gave out one subs. Wait, why does it not? Hmm. Maybe it. <laughs> what? Or okay. Vogver, thank you for gifting that sub. Appreciate that. That's odd. Yeah, it doesn't have a bottom. <clears throat> Interesting. But it, it has a side. Does the yeah, that's what I was wondering, does the is the vertical the opposite? No. The vertical looks like just solid blocks. I mean, I'm not opposed to it changing up here. I don't think I like that. Maybe this is where we use, um, we use this vertical, where we use this horizontal. And then up top, we will use the tiled at the very, very top. I don't like this. This will need to be something else. Yeah, this is going to have to be something else. A strapping, I don't really know what we're going to use for it, but we'll use something else here to fill this gap. And it won't be this. It won't be glass. Okay, now for the very, very top. so much I don't know why but this is this is kind of this is what I get I guess I'm, I was like oh yeah I want a train station what's what do I want what's the shape of the train station gonna look like so I, I looked up some some, res, some like examples I also did a kind of a google search today where I was like what are some blue building palettes and you know what I found nothing absolutely nothing Minecraft train stations everything it uses uh everything that I've seen utilizes that like brick color palette for everything this though that's pretty sick i i didn't see anything like this it was definitely steampunk yeah I think I know what I want here. I think it's gonna be copper. Looks punky, but lacks the steam. Yeah, true. Yeah, we don't have steam. We're using water wheels.
Actually, I need to turn these into the brick. Or use vein miner. This isn't connected to anything, is it? I don't think so. No. Shoot, you get, you get, shoot. You get a bunch more of those. Holy smokes. Um, and then slabs. Why not? Looks like the Miami Airport Retro Rail Station. I know the rounding is done in a lot of, uh, so a lot of metro stations use this like round thing. Like the dome that you see here looks like that, but interesting. Okay, I think that's it. And then the only thing I want to do is if I can turn these into slabs, I think these have a slab form. These will look good like this. Definitely not a fan of the copper, just out of the front. Yeah, okay, you're talking about this right here. Um, possibly once I'm done, maybe you'll like it. I don't know. Kind of the thing with these is like, you never know. Was like that trust the process, right? Oh yeah, it will 100% lose the orange color when it starts to 
degrade over time, which I, I personally love. I think that's going to look sick. I love the green texture. Okay, um, to try and replicate the other side, that's going to be the challenging part. Uh, once we have it done, though, we're good. Everything went up to the top, right? Yeah, and then I cleaned it up a bit. There we go. There's the shape. You like the orange and blue personally? It's stark, but effective. Is it, how do I... Yeah. Okay, and then right here, I kind of did... Well, I'm out of them. I've got to get some of this copper turned over. It's insane seeing that, though. The fact that's going to kind of carry over into the middle section, too. I really don't know how I'm going to finish this all out. Ah. Uh, we'll see. Sometimes when you start building on, like, an epic scale, you kind of get overwhelmed. And I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. I know I'm fine, but I still am getting a little overwhelmed. The, the idea of it here in the future is what's scary. Has this stopped flinging? No, it's still working. Okay, good. This could have been a banger long YouTube series. So views might be an issue given the complexity of the pack. It's on YouTube, just not done in my standard format. It, it is on my second channel. And it is long. That is no kidding. Uh, okay. I'm doing this right. No, I'm not. I'm sitting here trying to come up with other other designs already.
This is a place for the one of symmetry. True, I could have done that. I need to make that thing. Oh my God. Why have I not made that yet? We have all of the stuff now to make it. I should have totally done that. You um you don't actually know how it works. Um you can well you can divide you can tell it to uh to build in certain patterns for you. And so if I place a block, like if I place it right here in the center and then I start to build over here, it will place those blocks in the exact location here. And you can also tell it to place blocks in the corner or all the other cardinal directions. I think you can also divide it up even more like into like eights. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. Orientation of mirrors. Yeah. I need to make it though. We have the stuff. Um, let me see. Oh, is it not a thing? There it is. Yeah, you look at it and you're like, ah, oh, that's easy. Easy, easy, easy. There's sort of how it's going to look. Glass, brass, obsidian. Also, the void tier that you can craft from reliquary is a mini dank. Yeah, it's probably, I think it's more like the, um, what is that thing called? Uh, forget the name of it. Um, it was a dev null. It's more like a dev null, like what a dev null used to be. Here it is. Here we go, chat. We should have used that. We could have used that this entire time. Darn it. Well, I do need to go through here anyways, and I need to... Oh, boop. That block does not need to be here. This block doesn't need to be here. I also... One of these blocks also don't need to be here, right? Hmm... Oh, those are all required. So yeah, essentially, yep, you would like place down your thing. You can mirror along the X, you can rectangle, or you can octangle mirror along the X or Z. So if you do your, you just have to figure out which orientation you're wanting. So this would be if we hit F3, we can see our coordinates. I don't remember. I th is red... 
our X axis and the blue is our Z, Z axis. X, no, this is our Z axis. Red is Z, or blue is Z axis. And red is X axis. So this is our X axis right here. Our Z axis. Don't really know. I'd have to test out and see which one's which. Um, X axis. You place it down and there we go. Now we know. I guess it's probably easier just to look, right? And you rotate like that. How do you get rid of it? That one I that one I don't know yet. Um when you use with no target, it activates. Deactivates. There we go. Look at the air. So now if I was to place a block here, it mirrors it. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, this is this is a thing that we just actually unlocked. So technically, when I was building this, I could have had this in the center and it would have built everything around it too. What's the range? I actually don't know. Don't know. I guess a test is w worth doing, possibly. Oh yeah, far. I guess another thing that we could do with it, right, is probably use it to mine. Or does that not work? One hundred percent works. I'm sure there's other applications for it as well. There's got to be. What about a huge AOE break? Oh God, I'm assuming it will work. If it was just working with what we just did, it's 100% going to work. I want to test this further out though. Sorry for the, oh God, the, this, this biome is awful. Sorry guys. Here we go. Yeah. That works. That's sensational. <laughs> I think it only works if they're the same block. I don't... Yeah, po that's possibly the thing, yeah. But, remember there's... There is another thing that we can do in this pack that's quite insane, and that's the Void Core. Um... Destruction. Destruction wand core. Destroys blocks on the side facing you. Combine this core, your wand with the crafting grid. 
So yeah, this one right here is quite insane. Destroys blocks, no tile entities on the side facing you. Minimum number of blocks depends on the wand tier. Throwing blocks disappear into the void. Um, you can use the undo feature if you've made a mistake. Put your new core together with your wand. This is for the... Okay. To switch between cores, hold down sneak and left click. Oh, you can add this to any. Hold down sneak and left click empty space with your wand to use options screen. So I can, I can, I can add this directly to my... Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know we could just add it to our... I didn't know we could select it. But I wanted to, I wanted to test this out anyways. This was one thing that I wanted to do. Today. Or at least try out today. So I think, I think fundamentally we have the idea down for our build. Construction core, destruction core, angel core. Wow. Look at that beautiful stuff. Okay, let's see what the power of the destruction core is. Shall we? Shall we, Jen? Shall we see what this does? I think we shall. We shall see what this does. Let's go to the place where few men return from. There's this, this cave. It's huge cave. Okay. So let's test this out. Let's put it in destruction mode. Destroys blocks on the side facing you. And from what I've heard, this destroys stone. It destroys the block you're looking at, right? Destroys everything. Can we put a specific material in our offhand? To only void that thing? No. Way to clear out a lot of room. I'm trying to judge the area of this. This is dangerous. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. This will be really useful. Match exact. Oh my god, chat. Yeah, this is a like a delete vein mine tool. I didn't know that that's how this worked. I learned something new because of this pack. Very cool. Places blocks in midair. Very cool. You son of a gun. All right. What is this? Lime steel plating. Gross. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. It's a portable angel block. Yeah. And, huh. What about this combined with the wand of symmetry? Let's work with the wand of symmetry. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Who needs an RF tools builder? <laughs> All right, we're just testing the water. Sorry, we're just testing the water. We feel powerful. Doesn't mean we are powerful. Okay, we're just we're just fairly normal, honestly. What is this? Ignite flare heal. Slimy. Take that. I'll take that. There's a spawner. Oh my god. Okay. A spawner agitator. I feel like we've we've gotten a spawner agitator from something. So many decorative blocks. There's the aggregator. Yeah, there's the agitator. You want it. I know. I was like, what? I feel like that we might have some. Because they do show up quite a bit as loot. Mimics the ability of the school focus. Touch, ignite, flare, heal, flare, heal, flare. The hellfire flame is burn, even the heal magic. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. So does that mean that like when we attack something, it's going to just heal it <laughs> consistently? I have no idea. Interesting. For undead, it'll be mega damage. Huh. As my uh, villagers are saying. Huh. Yeah, this is going to be sick. Oh, I'm so ready for this thing. Oh, God. Okay. So, um. Yeah, now we have the Wand of Symmetry. This is looking beautiful. Um, now, we do need to swap out the glass here. That's basically it. Quick swap a runo. And this is looking thick. We haven't even figured out the walls or anything yet because there are going to be walls here. I, I do want this kind of walled off in a way. I don't know. 
Chosen really is an architect. Yeah, I'm an architect and didn't even go to school for it. It's crazy. Crazy. I remember seeing some chains. I want to take a look at those. Um, were they called big chains? Yeah. So yeah, what I should be able to do is anchor these in. When I place that, it places on the other side. So, um, can the one operate in the Y axis? Yeah, I can operate in any axis you put it on. So if I put it this way, it's going to operate in the Y. Put it this way, it's operating in that. Or you can go even crazier than that. We can mirror rectangular and then there's diagonal, octagonal with the rectangular, right? Or, um, Orthogonal, I believe, is on the four corners, right? It'll do that. Right? And if I change it again to be diagonal... I'm not noticing a difference there. Is that that oh I didn't save it. There we go. Now it's gonna place from from this side to this side. And this side to this side. And then we go even further than that. Octi. Look how quickly I just built that. Yeah. I do want to test this out. So I just did 60. Okay. So I have 60 copper blocks. If I vein mine. Okay, it doesn't dupe. <laughs> I was like, will it dupe? Man, that's something, yeah. And then it won't let me place if there's something in the way. That's cool. That's cool. That is going to be so helpful. Okay. Um, hmm. It'll be interesting to have something hanging from here. I just don't know what yet. We could always do like tanks full of fluids. That'd be something interesting to do maybe later on down the road. But yeah, for right now, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for today. We got a lot of this building done, which I really like. So far. I think the mixture of some more dark materials, figuring out what we're going to use for the flooring and everything else like that is going to be great. Now for the flooring, this should work too. 
Um, so instead of me using a break spell, what we can do with the flooring is maybe a, an exchange. And like if we do a three by three AOE, I wonder how this actually works. Um, let's do this and then we'll do an exchange with the items in my hand. Okay, so it do, it can't do that. But the exchange will break the blocks. Interesting. And I think the exchange by default, it's silk touch. Got the exchange silk touch. I mean, it set a pattern at least. Yeah, the exchange will be easy just for me to go through and be like, I'm going to do this and exchange all of these blocks. So that's how we're going to exchange the floor and all of that fun stuff when we go to set that up. You can't say that ain't satisfying. All right. So that was it. That was what we got done. It looks beautiful. Let's do a full circle around this thing. So far, this is beautiful. There's still more touches to do. We also need to get the rest of uh, like this all built out, which we probably will end up using that wand of symmetry potentially to build out um, all of these materials here. When we go to build out this flat roof, it is going to be fairly flat. That's the goal. Might build some like air conditioners looking things on top. Who knows? Today's stream was great. It's almost midnight there. Oh goodness. It's it's five o'clock here. Five o'clock somewhere and it's right now. Right now. All right. Let's find somebody to raid here on Twitch. Hopefully you guys are ready. Hey, by the way, get ready because this is the raid message. So get that copied and ready to go to send over to the stream. All right the next stream let's see is anybody playing after these guys expert potentially no nobody's playing after these guys expert right darn um so anyways let's take a look who is playing stuff looks like hangos is playing pow world modded catchless eggs only what in the world um it's already time for runs like that? Like what? Man, there's not a lot, but I, I have no problem raiding Tango who's playing uh, Power World if you guys are interested in that. Nobody in my friends list is like playing Minecraft right now. I'm the only one. Wow, look at me. Look at me so fancy. Yeah. We'll hit up Tango. All right. Guys, give Tango some love. He's playing some Power World. I'm probably going to be play some, playing some more Power World with my wife tonight. <laughs> ah, it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. All right, guys. I will see you in the next stream, which should be back on uh, th Thursday. We'll be back on Thursday. I'll see you guys back on Thursday with some more Create Arcane Engineering, and we'll get uh, we'll create more lag in the world. <laughs> you know how it is. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. And of course, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Have a good one.